<sighs> one of the latest documentaries, actually, it's a fairly old documentary, but one of the one of the documentaries getting a lot of attention right now is Ukraine on Fire. And there are a lot of people saying that the documentary has been removed by YouTube. That is not correct. It has been flagged by YouTube. But of course, this is making it uh, pop up now on social media, generating a lot of buzz. People want to know what happened in Ukraine in 2014. There's a documentary by Oliver Stone that basically lays out a case for Western manipulation of the Ukrainian government, which is particularly interesting and a narrative that is particularly bad for the West. So when you hear that it was banned, a lot of people, you know, their, their ears perk up. We got a couple stories, but uh, truth be told, my friends, it is my birthday. So uh, smash that like button. And I got to be completely honest. Allergies, man. Wow. I look out my window and I see all those little leaves are allergic to women's day. It, 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 it's the day oh, yeah, when all of the day. trees just like, yeah. and then it's just, I wake up and it's like my lungs feel like they're full of pollen. And I was thinking like, maybe I'm getting sick, but I'm not mm. sick. I feel like spry, but it's just like. Oh man, just itchy eyes and like, oh, my lungs feel bad. Feel and I'm you, dude. Congested and it's just so brutal. So he sees a picture of a cat and his eyes oh, start dude, watering. I'm, I'm the man of a million. Yeah, they, they, I saw sad. them like, you know, he he looked at Bucko downstairs and his eyes just popped out. And I was oh, like, oh, I got oh, here. I saw those. Sad, I literally, before I came here, I took my inhaler just in case. I was in New York <laughs> uh, above the trees. I lived on <laughs> Cypress what? Hill. Someone knocked Ian's camera. Oh, oh yeah. I was like, oh, here's the UFO. All right. Well, let's, yeah, let's, let's just get through this introduction real quick. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to. Uh, the latest episode of Timcast IRL. We are live Thanks. for you in the yeah. <laughs> tri-state area just outside of Washington, D.C. And joining us today to discuss a plethora of topics from culture and politics is the rapper with the latest hit single, Brian Stelter, is a sex machine. Ladies and gentlemen, Ryan Long. Yeah, you know what it is. I just want to give a shout out to all my fans. You know what it do, what it do. We out here in the Timcast studio. I just want to say... That it was a little bit rude of uh, Tim to have his birthday on the same day as International Women's Day. I thought that was a little bit selfish of you. It was yesterday. Uh, it his was birthday or Women's Day? Women's Day. For me, I celebrated for Wait. a week. <laughs> but, but, but hold on. <laughs> Today's the day Biggie died. Oh, sh crap. Interesting. So, <laughs> I'm almost swearing already. <laughs> Strong start, Ryan. <laughs> you know what I say? It's notorious W O M X N. So yeah. that's my rapper. I'm little little woman X N. What's the uh, so so what's so, the proper pronunciation of that? I think Wimixin. Wimixin. Wimixin? Wimixin. Wimixin. And for me, what I would like to see happen for Women's Day is I think that they should make them eligible for the draft. <laughs> yes. No, they've worked hard. They deserve it. I would like to see Ukrainian women take up arms. They've been forcing them to flee, and I don't think no, that's no. right. I, I got to stop you. Okay, uh, that is deeply offensive. This idea that women should just be eligible for the draft. Women should be in every combat role. Women can do the same thing as men can yeah. do. And you know, when we talk about how we should have more female CEOs, we need more women in combat positions. In fact, I think every position could be filled by a woman. We they need can more do female DOAs. DOAs? Is that it is? Combat dead deaths? On arrival. Oh, yes, I could. <laughs> we want that. POWs? <laughs> you're dead on arrivals? Isn't that a term? Dead I think that's like a murder I don't think you thing. refer to somebody as a DOA. Oh, you know, mil no. military Polish joke. I don't know. <laughs> Anybody? That's the thing. I don't you know if you know this, but I have, war? I have also in solidarity with uh, Ukraine one small uh, decision that I've made is I've uh, given Danny a one month sus uh, suspension from the boys cast because yes. he's from you from Russia. Oh, Whoa, you're yeah. Russian. Mm -hmm. Well, no, wait, my wait, parents wait. are actually yeah. from Ukraine. Get out. But yeah. the Russian. Beat it, pal. I got Beat it. it I got it on both sides. It's like the first. Oh my gosh. So I got it on both sides because. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's, but your last name is let's, Polish. Let's, no, so it's Polish Chuck, which is a Ukrainian mm. last name. Uh, let's just, whole, so let's, this is basically my whole life. Everybody thought I was Polish. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm Russian. And then when I was 20, <clears throat> excuse me, I found out that my parents were getting like, no, nervous actually, talking about no, this. No, my parents were <laughs> like, we're actually from Ukraine because it was the Soviet Union. And then look at him changed. trying to cover it. He up. switched, switched up the and he's been telling <laughs> everyone I'm Russian before. And then all of a sudden he goes, I never saw this, said that. No, no, no. But my, I, they are Russian. <laughs> wait, wait. So but let's just, uh, do you guys want to introduce yourselves? Yeah. yeah. Just like normally. Ryan Long, uh, rapper, podcaster, the boys cast, new special out on YouTube, White Immigrant. Go check it out. YouTube.com slash Ryan Long Comedy just came out hot off the presses. Nice. Yeah. And uh, Danny Polischuk, uh, comedian. I also host The Boys Cast with Ryan. I have a live call-in show Tuesday nights called Low Value Mail on YouTube. And uh, yeah. Right on. We got Ian. Uh, what's up, everybody? Ian Crossland. So I'm slid over to the right a little bit. and got my uh, floating uh, UFO Oh, because your camera's been knocked 
Yeah. yeah, I think I did that. By the I think way, someone threw an elbow. We did it on purpose. I think Trump, Trump slid him over to the right a little yeah, bit. I blame <laughs> Trump. <laughs> I usually blame Trump. <laughs> yeah, he does. All right, I love I you, just, Donald. Yeah, I just wanted the UFO to be the star of the show. Unfortunately, Ian got kicked out of the picture. Anyway, we got it fixed. But yeah, I'm also here pushing buttons in the corner. Love these guys. I'm excited for tonight. Love All you. right, before we get started, how about uh, you want to yes. just you want to fix that camera while I complain about <laughs> stuff? No, no. Um, before we get started, head over to TimCast.com, become a member, and help support our work. We, uh, we had a bunch of journalists, and because you are members, we are able to keep them all employed. We're expanding. We're building a new building. We're going to be doing a lot of really, really cool stuff. So uh, I just want to say, it is, uh, it is my birthday today, and I'm eternally grateful to everybody who has made all this possible. Very much so, it is a dream come true to be able to complain on the internet, to go from, man, like 10 years ago to just walking around with my phone. Six, seven years ago, I'm putting a little GoPro 4 on top of my monitor to here we are. We got all these cameras. We've got cameras up there. We got these famous comedians here making us laugh. It's just, it's just, it's kind of surreal. And everybody who watches, everybody who signs up at the website is making this possible. And it's, it's incredible. So I am eternally grateful to, to everybody. And we're going to keep doing our best. We're going to uh, make sure we have, we have excellent standards. I check the news every day personally. I send notes to the team. We do updates and corrections all the time because I want to make sure we have really strong standards for our news. We're going to be expanding. We're, we've got on-the-ground reporters, and it's all thanks to you. We're going to have a members-only segment coming up around 11, 11 or so p.m., and I think that'll be the real treat for everybody because I imagine that Ryan and Danny are going to get, you know, I, I imagine when we're, like, off YouTube, you guys are just, like, really awful people. Who oh, say it's really gonna really be wild. oh, no, no, we're, we're awful people. <laughs> I want to give a shout-out oh, okay. to all your viewers, <laughs> yeah, 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 too, yeah, yeah. and anyone who wants to subscribe for more Tim Cast comment, it's just patreon.com slash theboyscast, yeah. and he appreciates <laughs> it. Yeah, <nice. laughs> we, <laughs> we, all, we all appreciate it. There's lots of content over there. Well, so um, his birthday present. Yes, lovely. let's 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 start by uh, just you know brief, touching on the stuff with Ukraine a little bit, and then I think we're just gonna we're gonna chill. We got a bunch of weird stories. There's this guy who like punched a 77 year old man in the face because he said a racial slur to my him. stepdad, and now he's going <laughs> he's like under house arrest. So, so it's an interesting you know it's an interesting culture oh. cultural issue with like race and stuff. I can't wait to find out whose side I'm on. Yeah, right. No, exactly. And then you have the the director. Of, You're him out. Yeah, <laughs> the director of Black Panther. Uh, he got they thought he was robbing a bank. Cause he like walked in with a mask on and sunglasses and gave a note to the teller. But we'll, we'll talk about this stuff. Just have a good time. We're chilling. Some people were saying like, Tim, take the day off. It's your birthday. And I'm like, this will be my day off hanging out with, uh, with Ryan, Danny, Ian, Lydia is going to be, he's going to party. Like it's his birthday. I'm going to sit here and mostly just like relax. And you guys can talk and, you know, entertain everybody. He'll just let the allergies take over your body. Oh, it's brutal, man. I took allergy medicine and it worked for a little bit. Just but sit down, like, put some headphones oh, on, listen to the sweet sounds of Lindsey Graham telling you why we need to fight Russia. That's right. We got Chicken <laughs> the City The only up. way that I chill. We got Chicken City up. Yeah, we did. What's and, Chicken uh, City? All the chickens. Oh, it's oh, so chicken. valuable. It's the, yeah. live, it's the live stream of the chickens. Oh. Like, we're, sh we're stream I, I thought you were referring to Moscow. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, we, we, we have them, and you can, uh, you can watch the chickens, you know. Do you have coyotes do, do chicken stuff. We do, but because we have, have a dog, a, yeah, and he dumps all over the lawn, and my brother won't clean it up. It keeps the coyotes and the bears away. Great. Okay, good. It's a win-win. So, so that's actually no. It's like it's like well, a lose-win. <laughs> Lose-win-win. It's like, dude, clean up. You know. Well, it seems like it's yeah. Like if you live, you know, places where you have chicken coops, unless you're like in the city or something. Yeah, it seems like well, let, we let, had let, hawks at one point, but we built like a mesh. Kind yeah, of you got to really got get them really solid yeah. in there, right? Well, we yeah. still have hawks. But we still you know, there was like hawks, a, there was like a hawk attack. You should have a, someone. You should get uh, someone from a get a sniper's nest that's just always watching the mm -hmm. the chickens. A guard. The chickens. Yeah. Just what happens? Just you a, get about just twenty four hour around the clock. That's you idea. get a hundred and then you sacrifice them and then you start. Is that why you need a constant flow coming in? We, we, sacrificing we, to the YouTube gods. We have fifty six of them incubating right now. Yeah, fifty six plus two babies. Should have got sixty nice. nine. Sixty nine. That would really that would've been nice. cool. Huh? Let's let's talk about this Ukraine stuff. Let's jump into the story. <laughs> we got this from Washington Examiner. YouTube flags Oliver Stone's latest Ukraine documentary. Now I don't know when this came out. There's a trailer for it. It's a 2016 documentary, Ukraine on Fire by Oliver Stone. They put this warning on it, age restricting it. Now, there's a lot of tweets here. We got this one from Rumble. They say YouTube removed the documentary Ukraine on Fire. We believe the public should decide what it sees, not Google execs. We're proud to announce the producers uploaded the film to Rumble, enabling anyone who wishes to view it. Well, I don't think it's taken down, but they are, they've, they're also, they've also flagged like trailers and people have started uploading this in mass to YouTube. So if you search for it now, you can see like a bunch of new uploads of this documentary. And it basically talks about there's like this uh, weird yeah, dry sand effect. Yeah, there's like a, a leaked phone call of Victoria Newland talking about who the like the president of Ukraine is going to be. I think you were mentioning that, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Was that, was that? She, she was uh, had had some picks on who she wanted to install, and then it, it happened, right? Is that what it was? Oh uh, yeah, I believe so. The crazy thing is, you guys see that story about like the bio labs and all that stuff. 
Yeah, we were, well, we were talking about it before earlier, uh, before, but yeah, like she, they were, Rubio was like grilling her, and then she's like, yeah. she kind of was sheepishly like, um, yeah, we're worried about the, the, the bio labs might fall in the hands of the if Russians. You, and they're like, what was that? <laughs> yeah. If you go to uh, the US, US embassy of, like the US embassy in Ukraine's, their actual .gov website, it says the US built two bio labs, level two, specifically for food safety and consumer protection. But then it makes like, it talks about how they're like researching pathogens and stuff. So I certainly think the idea Just doing a bit of gain of function. How many? Okay. Well, I don't know about that. That's that, that, that's the thing, right? So if if Russia comes out and they're like they're doing gain of function in Ukraine, I'm like that's how the fact checkers are able to dismiss this, because what we all we know is that the website and the U.S. government said like oh there's pathogens here. It could just be like they're researching, like they're they're trying. They they claim it's the biological threat reduction program to make sure people don't get sick or something. Mm -hmm. Reducing yeah. botulism. Well, that's a toxin, I mean, right? Or is it? Uh, it's a fungus or something? How is many it, um, uh, bio labs does Ukraine have in America? Uh, 420 and 60.6. I have no idea. Oh, yeah, he would, Danny was just showing us some wild stuff before of the the old videos of... Uh, oh, yeah, Zelensky dude, doing the Roman salute as a Nazi Pretty salute. crazy, yeah. So, well, mostly joking about how he's like, we sure have a lot of Nazis here, and everybody's like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah sure it's one of those, but then I thought even crazier is like, oh, you know, Obama's government, we're going to have to, we're going to join NATO, but obviously as their puppet, and everyone's like, it's funny because it's true. <laughs> right. This is the Ukrainian president before he was president. Yeah. yeah. When he was yeah. Back when he was just a comedian. The oh, conspiracy theory is that He's a comedian who played the, the, the Ukrainian president on a TV show. And so they asked him to actually do it because they knew that he could act. Right. Yeah. Or, or he's like, well, his I mean, it's not really a conspiracy theory. That's kind of what happened. What happened. <laughs> but his approval rating was like super low before this. Yeah. I, was, I was reading something like my, oh, actually my mom was saying, but it was like less than 20%. How many wow. people, Biden level. How many people's approval rating right now is skyrocketing because of war talk? His, his yeah. that's, that's, the secret, that's the secret wow. ingredient. Yeah, I know. Yep. Get Joe, Joe get Biden. Invaded. Dude, it's legitimately, imagine you have a girlfriend and you guys hate each other and she's like, you're the worst, I'm going to break up and then someone comes into the house and you have to fight them off. <laughs> yes, and then, exactly. They, and the movie always, they, you yeah. know what, you, you're not so bad. I Now I realize why I loved you in the first place. Yeah. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll let you in on a, 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 I was reading this thing and it said that you can use, men can use fear to simulate attraction. So like what you're saying is, there's Turn like, the lights off. No, no. They, they they say like if you want to go on a date, bring them to Scary. a rickety bridge. Oh, wow. Yeah, for real. Crack your knuckles a lot on a the first day. date. No, no, yeah. You, and don't tell her. You I think I'm joking. Tell the girl, hey, listen, I have a nice night plan for you, and sort of drive out to the middle of the forest, pretend <laughs> the engine broke down. Yeah. This is, <laughs> this is, have, there was an actual. Have a stereo playing some squeaky sounds. Find a knife, stuff like that. Good, yeah. She can't be scared of you. <laughs> is this blood on the hood? <laughs> Crazy. Yeah. So you scared? So no. There was wanna... there was actually an article that claimed that. That if like you, true. if you bring them to a high location like the observatory of like the Sears Tower or something observation deck, yeah. or you like bring them over to those bridges where the floor is glass, it'll make their hearts beat faster and faster. You want to trigger a flight response? Is, no, then, for real. That's yeah. a, that's what they claimed. I think bring them out into the middle of a lake on a canoe and then sort of <laughs> so die like, yeah. Out. So what's it gonna be? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it's always sunny. Yeah. The implication. Oh, that's the dentist. What is yeah, it? The, the dentist. Is that dentist the dentist system? system no, what, yes. Was it? That, that, uh, no, that wasn't the dentist system. The implication of the, the yeah. boat. Yeah. He was like, you bring him out on a boat to the middle of the a lake or the ocean, and then, you know, because the implication, they're like, what implication? What? <laughs> you know, like, you're on a boat. No, but they, they, there's like, um, yeah, I'll, I'll tell you this, for that stuff. I mean, that's of, why you pay a guy to come, you know, show up and be like, give me all your money. And then you yeah. karate chop them off. Yeah. Or you like, you know, if you're dating a blind chick, you can just, you can do the whole thing yourself. Yeah. yeah. You know, exactly. you can be like, I'm, I'm generally dating everyone. a blind chick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, the crazy thing about this idea is like, imagine this, like you're, you're, you're making a joke about how some dude might bring a woman out to the middle of nowhere on a rickety bridge because he's trying to manipulate her. <laughs> but think about a guy who's dumb enough to actually do that and it works out and he has no idea what's going on. You know what I mean? Yeah, he doesn't put two and two together like why that work. He just goes, yeah. So then it works out for him and then he ends up marrying this woman and then there's the dude who's like, I planned that and y'all hate me for it. It's like if so if you're conscious of what you're doing to manipulate, you're a really bad person. Everything's you're gross. Well, I mean, everything, that's like a human rule that you're saying the same as um, when you watch cuteness or any sort of thing like that, as soon as, you know, like when you're watching a baby being cute, it's okay. But then as soon as someone's doing it on purpose where you go, I know it's cute when I kind of do this and they always right. do it. It's like, Ugh, it's gross. Like that. Let's test that. Someone give me a pacifier. Yeah, no, yeah. nope, not cute. <laughs> nice that try. wouldn't be cute if you did it on accident. Well, anything's, yeah, anything's 
anything conscious is far more disgusting. True. Yeah. I was just looking up oxytocin. It looks like oxytocin is not only the, the love chemical, but also can make people feel extreme negative feelings, too. This is from the Huffington Post. I don't know how much research has been done into this. I mean, maybe, Post, probably none. Maybe this is part yeah. of why putting people in scary situations. What does can, the Huffington uh, Post think about um, Tim's date plan of bringing them into the middle of the forest? <laughs> That's a pretty good date plan. Yeah, we should <laughs> no, no, I, the dentist system. To get know. them dripping. Yeah, what, it, what, it what, what, to get them dri- what What is, what is, what was <laughs> the Hold on, no, it's a real, I, I know you, here's, how about this one? You bring him into the house and then you say you have to go to the ba- bathroom and then you run out to the car and come back in a scream mask. Yes. <laughs> and you <laughs> sort of, <laughs> you go, ah, and then the you actual sort- idea was bring him to a scary movie yeah <laughs> you know yeah, it was okay. like invite them on a day and then bring them to the movies and go see a horror film well that, yeah or turn up if you want to dial up yeah, the, that would be a good plan in the 70s yeah right that's boring yeah now. now you got to do it like michael jackson did in thriller and like be a werewolf yeah. like actually threaten them mm-hmm. and make scare them like augmented reality glasses no i'm kidding you can always <laughs> offer a pair of glasses actually. when they come over or hire a team of hackers to do cyber warfare on your bank accounts while you're there oh, that's, oh that's, do that's you imagine idea. that if some guy like you hire a team maybe this is a good skit or a bit a guy hires like 10 people and he tries convincing his date that he's you know a special agent yeah and it's like the russians have come for him because he's got information about the war or something you have your keyboards <laughs> and she goes those aren't hooked up to anyone you yeah. go shh they're new style no, you, all your boys like right when the check comes all the guys come they go oh, we gotta go we gotta he's gotta go you go, no, you you're like fighting people. Before? You're like, <laughs> you like fight your way out of this restaurant. <laughs> and then you're like, quick, get in the car. If you want to live, you'll come with me. And she like screams and punches you in the ball. In, in the trunk. Yeah. You're getting <laughs> in, the trunk. in the trunk. <laughs> That's the Tinder swindler too. Yeah. Right Tinder there. swindler. Wasn't that guy just like. So da- if you're listening and you're looking for dating tips. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ryan. You Pop got him, him in the trunk. Oh, jeez. What? The what? I said, Ryan, you got him all day. The Tinder swindler? Did you hear? I don't know if you heard, but I, t- I swindled the Tinder swindler. Did you? Ooh. Well, he does cameos and it's uh, 300 bucks, but it's uh, like 1000 bucks if you want it for promotional purposes. Uh-oh. But then I weaseled my not promotional purposes <laughs> one. But you actually hired him? I got him to yeah, call yeah. He goes, oh, congrats on your special. And it, <laughs> he, goes, it just... he goes, do not like. Well, that's been my favorite thing with the Tinder swindler is that he... His whole thing was to his girlfriend. It's always goes, my enemies are after me, right? Yeah. So I've been loving saying that to everyone, like my chick or whatever. It's like, baby, oh, you have to get the food. My enemies are after me. <laughs> you don't understand. I can't be home by 10. My enemies are after me. So you could be you could be definitely saying that. Like, oh, hey, the stream was late. You know, our enemies are after us over That's here at Timcast. Idea, <laughs> this is the first well, time. Well, you actually, yeah, we got, oh, yeah, we we got, got swatted. swatted. He six, sort of has been times. doing that. <laughs> but, but like while the show's going. And we're just like, oh, I guess why don't we? we sorry, we charged you double for the the premium content this week. Our enemies are <laughs> how many how many times do you need to be swatted before they show up? And you go, just grab a seat, let's interview yeah. you. Yeah, we're I, gonna have I, food I, waiting for me. No, yeah, I actually was like, should we just get like a thing of donuts? Yeah, and you know, and it's like for know, some people were like, maybe donuts is just too offensive. Throw I'm them at the yeah. cops. Pizza. That yeah. that's like more like they'd like beef jerky, I think. Yeah, or or that you know, just a like coffee cake. Yeah, something it's that's like, sealed so they're not like, what's in this? You know, poison me. Yeah, homemade. Cheesecake. There you go. What? Well, this is the first I've Coffee. heard of the Tinder, Tinder swindler. This is You've a real. Never thing. heard of the Tinder <laughs> no, swindler. This is crazy. Whoa. February twenty second documentary on Netflix. What, what is, is it? You must know this. Give me the brief right? rundown. Yeah, well, he was like ripping women off. Yeah, you're in the know. He really is in. The, I was he's actually in the, on Tinder. He at that leaves time. the show and goes right back into the bunker. He, right? Yeah. <laughs> con Silence. He's a con artist. Ally. What's that? He's like a con artist and he just conned all these women. Oh my gosh. He was just getting like free food and stuff though, right? No, no, no. He this one woman gave him like she took out all these credit cards and gave him two hundred fifty thousand. He was making Whoa. bank, dude. No, he's getting a lot. And the thing is, the movie the movie had three women in it, which means there were fifty that didn't want to come forward. Whoa. So how do you, how do you how do you fall for this stuff? Man? Well, that's how you get them. You get them scared that all their money's gone, and then yeah. boom, you're in. What's the boom? Well, the main way <laughs> he had them. She's scared. Uh, We've been through this. <laughs> No, it's it's, an, it's instead cortisol. of bringing them out to the bridge, you bring them out to a metaphorical bridge where their money is all disappearing. Yeah. Right. Well, he tricked them into thinking he was a billionaire. That yeah. was the big thing. Is like these girls, the first date, he'd be like, "Oh, you know what? Meet me at the airport," and they'd go fly on a private jet to Switzerland for a night at a hotel. But that's still expensive. Yes, because it was a Ponzi scheme that was being funded oh. by all the other women who were paying for this one thing, and then she would now be paying for him to do this to somebody that's else. A, but were these women rich or something? No, but he just no. He would so get many girls. Of them. <laughs> He, he was sort of involved in the Crazy. thing, too, where he would get the girls, for example, he would write them uh, fake employment letters for his fake company so then they can now go get their lines of credits extended. Oh, wow. He was pretty involved in the procedure. He had, he had it down to pretty decent science. Yeah. And these women didn't know what they were doing. It wasn't that. It's like, 
I mean, you know, you got some cash. Like if people were like, hey, can you lend me a thousand bucks? Obviously I'm good for it. Why would anyone believe that you wouldn't be, right? Especially yeah. if they kind of have a Oh, if I asked someone for money. No, if they asked you for, yeah, if you asked yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, like if you asked me for a decent amount of money. Yeah, like, can I, I get like, you go, my enemies are after me. But I wouldn't think anything of it, really, can I, right? Can I have 400 bucks, right? Yeah, you know I got it. Well, yeah, you got your Well, that's the thing. You just found out that I have more money than you in my wallet. Oh, yeah. I'm good Not anymore, you know. He doesn't want to pull it out. I know I know he's got more, but he doesn't have the guts to pull it out. Lucky, uh, oh, no more Tinder swindler. This is from New York Post. Dating app ads, yeah, just, background checks. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I saw, yeah, I saw that. Today. Today. So get it back whenever you can. Today, yeah. Here we go, everybody. So, so this is this is not only did we get uh, Danny and Ryan to come out here and yeah. do the show, we don't pay them. Yeah. I actually just got him to give me four hundred dollars. What that, he doesn't realize is that I just put the terms at fifty percent interest <laughs> per minute. <laughs> <laughs> the juice is yeah. running. Oh, oh, oh! I'll take my five hundred back if you want. If you want. If you'd like to close up the loan, if not, you can keep paying the interest. I never signed. <laughs> never caught an honest, John. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Troublemakers. Well, okay, so, yeah. Two of you guys about... are going to be like deer hunter later tonight. Just Russian roulette. Yep. What? Red, red headbands. At the <laughs> well, it's, it's his birthday. Hardcore you can yeah. have the money back if you yeah. want it. If those dollars are, are really made of cotton. <laughs> give me 400 bucks for my birthday. Are they, <laughs> yeah. are they worth less than a quarter? A quarter of metal? If they're made of cotton, is the cotton worth what? less? A dollar bill. Is it worth less than a quarter? Because the quarter is made of metal, like real value. Oh, the actual melt. Yeah, melt. yeah. There's worth. No, they're worthless. well, hold on. I don't know though. You can you can wipe your ass with money. That's true. Uh, yeah. You can so stay warm. Like, with although, it. are there nickels that are made <laughs> of nickel? You. Do you see quote. how much nickel? No. Went well, in Venezuela. Yeah, yeah. So, like in Venezuela, it's funny when people say things like in Weimar Germany they were shuffling money into like the drains and stuff, and I'm like, that's toilet paper, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, you think I'm kidding? I'm not kidding. Yeah. No, like, you gonna you gonna go buy toilet paper? Legitimately, my dad. I was talking to him the other day that he used to doesn't use toilet paper in Russia. Is and that what said, I, something, I said something about the ruble, and then he was like, "Yeah, the only use for the ruble is if you need wallpaper right now." Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Wallpaper yeah. or what? A toilet paper wallpaper. It looks like, it's like it's just. Look, but I'm thinking like in Venezuela they throw the money in the trash. I guess you wouldn't want to take that really filthy money and put it on your on your hole. You know what I mean? Because you just like you get sick or something. <laughs> this yeah. says that a nickel is 75 percent copper and 25 yeah. percent nickel. I mean that's a little misleading to call it. Well, nickel they, I think they used copper. to be nickel, but then I think the Did they? price of nickel. But nickel, I don't know if you saw what happened this week with all the war stuff and all the nickel comes from Russia or like a huge amount. And then it was like all these like uh, commodity companies basically are, are, have gone like bankrupt because nickel, I think it went up 100% in a day, two, two days in a row. Wow, I should have bought nickels. Yeah, and then the, the, the exchange canceled a lot of the orders. They straight up canceled them. They're like, what, wasn't it? Wasn't it isn't, but it's not really nickel, it was silver, right? Nickel is copper, seventy five percent copper. I mean, originally, like when they were get, when the nickels were in circulation. Yeah, yeah. yeah originally, like the dime, like I know, like the dimes and stuff. I don't know, and I don't know if in America, but probably, but they were literally silver. You can you can All buy you can buy bags of loose change mm -hmm. that's measured in silver weight, not denomination. So if you go to these like metal websites, yeah, yeah, you get a bag of you know pre nineteen sixties coins, whatever. It's all silver. Yeah, Dude, they're, the, they're all silver. The price of nickels doubled in the last week. Yeah, yeah. yeah it went from point eight. I don't know how to measure this, but it's doubled. Yeah, it's Is that precious there. metals are all going up because of the. Because Russia that's a big produces increase. a ton of them. If and your net means, wealth uh, is in nickel, you just doubled your net wealth. But there's a lot. I of, hope there's a lot. No of one wasn't sitting there <laughs> banking. <laughs> well, you know what? <laughs> one day. But there's a lot of nickel producers who are like, I guess they had hedged their production. And then this is like essentially because this is such an unnatural like movement in the price that it was like a bunch of them got bankrupted. Like they essentially just like, right. I, I don't know the exact thing, but so then they had to, there's just companies like bailing them out now because you can't just like take this nickel production offline. Jeez. Whoa. What is yeah, it? Uh, March 2nd. I mean, that must have been yeah, when check the this. war was declared or when Putin went in, right? Nickels are worth more. Than dimes? The, no, than than, their, than themselves. I mean, pennies are worth more than the, a penny, but it's illegal to melt them. Well, I think pennies are zinc or something. Zinc, uh, but yeah. Or, but like uh, the, the inflation is is so rapid now. I just googled it. This could be outdated, but it says Jefferson Westward Journey nickels, two thousand four, two thousand five, seventy five percent copper. Their value is six point seven cents. Yeah. Huh. So that means inflation was so high. I just gave you four hundred bucks, and you just gave me back three hundred bucks. <laughs> yeah. Same thing. Same Dude, thing. looking at the cost of nickel over the last ten years, it's sitting here at point point five point five for. No, it's like a straight line. Ten in years, the last and week. then it goes. Yeah, literally completely straight up. line. Like, stick, yeah. Well, I was reading some articles today. They were telling you that inflation is actually pretty good, and it's it mostly thing. only hurts rich people. Yeah, so. yeah. Exactly. yeah, I saw that too. Right. That's exciting. <laughs> those are my favorite takes. Yes, I love those takes. That it's actually it's bad for only rich people, and you go, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look, you know what's funny? Because I would even say as, like. When people talk about the gas yeah, prices exactly. in this, like, you know how Stephen Colbert was kind of yeah. out there being like, 
you know, I don't know if you talked about this, but Stephen yeah. Colbert's take was like, you know, obviously, we can, yeah, we, what do we care if it's higher, right? But yeah. I would agree. I don't see, you know, normal fluctuations. Like I wouldn't, you know, make much changes based on gas prices and I'm not, but for someone, uh, for anyone to say that like inflation and that affects exclusively rich people, you go, it takes a lot of mental gymnastics to get there. Well, you know, look, I can I can absolutely respect that regular people are impacted. But uh, to, to Colbert's defense, you know, people like us, it's very difficult for us to track the cost of gas because when we ask Winston to go fill up our, our <laughs> yeah, bets, yeah. we don't actually see the gas station prices. Right. Yeah, and right. so he comes back and just it's taken care of. And then we have a financial guy We're, who takes care of all a, the As you drive so. by, you go, Winston, what are those numbers on that <laughs> sign mean? Well, that's what I say. I go, yeah, can you get me a bag or a cup of gas or whatever? <laughs> Winston's doing. like, blah, 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 I something, go, something. Yeah, here, well, how much is this? Of gas. Yeah, I go, cup of gas. How much do you need? A couple grand? What's it going to cost? Whatever. And then he's, it's, no, but, but like, Winston walks up and you're like, what, what, what do you need to fill up the car? Like two, three thousand. He goes, uh, $100. He goes, oh, only a hundred. You hand him a hundred dollar bill. And yeah. you know, you don't realize that. For he goes, it's person. eight uh, gallon or whatever. I go, under a gallon? Is that high? Is that low? <laughs> yeah, is that low? Is it low? And yeah, he goes, it's low. <laughs> let's, let's talk about this weird story. Cause it's just, I don't know, whatever. Oh yeah. LME forced to halt nickel trading. Cancel deals after prices top one hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Hoard your nickels because they're twenty five percent nickel. The London Metal Exchange forced to halt nickel trading. The LME's shock move came as Western sanctions <laughs> threatened supply. London from Metal Exchange. Russia produces <laughs> the uh, nickel, I guess. In the 1990s, a rogue Sumitomo trader tried to corner the copper market, and tin trading was stopped for five years Whoa. in the 80s. Whoa. So uh, right now, I, I, with the price of nickel being as high as do they say the, the actual number? Here we go: uh, two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars a ton of nickels. Do the math on the nickels you have in your piggy bank. They're twenty five percent nickel. Wow, got a lot of money. Yeah, it says they're seventeen dollars a pound nickel. Whoa. So divide seventeen by four into a pound of nickels. Maybe you'll have more money. I don't know. Maybe not. But the copper in a nickel is already worth more. Yeah, but so more importantly, they, they need them for electric. They got to uh, be batteries. Right, right, right. The, so a nickel's yeah. got to be worth ten cents right now, right? Might be, but it's illegal to do anything about that. Right. Yeah. So why does? Why do you think? Because Canada got rid of the penny. When, when did we kind of get rid of the penny? Five years ago? Yeah, it's still crazy to me that there's pennies in America. Yeah, yeah it is weird. With the no fact that them. nothing... Well, I know, but there must be... I don't know. It makes no sense. A gajillion... How much money in pennies is there? Yeah, but around? you know, here, here's the issue. You could probably find a way to scheme money by using the um, using rounding up and rounding down. And I, I legitimately... Well, that's what they do I in, legitimately mean this. So No, no, no. That's so in, this office space you're referring to. No, no, no. To. So in... Um, yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. Like if you go to a store and you buy something and it's like one twenty four, you save the four cents. Then you sell it for one twenty five. You get an extra dime on top. Right, but no, it rounds you, up. It rounds up to one twenty five, and one twenty two would be one twenty. One twenty four rounds up to one twenty five. Yeah. Oh, okay. But well, either but, way, but I'll tell you this. In, but that rounding it, is done like you know which way. If it comes to one twenty two, you you win sometimes, you lose sometimes. Yeah. Right? No, but I'm saying you could plan it. You could so you could do a deal with a company where you're like, I'm gonna buy at one twenty two. And save two cents. Per yeah, but bushel. you're not going to send. You're only going to save two cents per order. You have yeah, to buy each one individual. Like what? Like let's oh, say. I see, what you're see what? Yeah, you go. I'm going to buy ten thousand things. It's like yeah, and you save. That would be the best negotiation. You go ha ha, and they go yeah. It's not how that works. Yeah, 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 Build yeah. an automated system. <laughs> yeah, and you can you can office space it. Yeah, literally. Kind of. Saving pennies. But you. But also people can tell. Like for example, if you if you add the products together with the prices, do the thing, and you go. But my system uh, rounds it down when it should have rounded up. It's like, well, then by that logic, yeah, I could also just change the price to, you know, scam an extra buck from people yeah, while I'm lying. True. Yeah. True. Like at that point, you're just stealing from people. So, so well, you're saying ban the penny. Yeah, I think they ban should get rid, of, get rid of the penny. But then what happens to all the pennies everybody's got? Well, the, I don't know. Ask what Canada did with them. Yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, nope. I think they have them all. They nope. have them all at penny gumball machines. Yeah. I don't know. The only real people who would lose out are those penny flattening machines. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoever yeah. runs those businesses yeah, yeah. would be. Now, no, I, I've seen some of those now. Mm. That, you know, for those that aren't familiar, you put a penny in and then 50 cents and you crank it. Yeah. Now you just put 50 cents in and it dro a token comes down and you crank it and it smashes a token. Oh. I did yeah. some math. You need 1,440 nickels to get $4 worth of nickels in, in nickel. Okay. Uh, if you wanted to melt down and get a 25, I don't know what that means. 1,440 nickels to get about $4.50 worth of nickel. So what's that, $70? But, but, but hold on. Oh, do, the, do, the nickel and, do the nickel and the copper. You need a piece of paper. 
and then do it by like hundred nickels. You know what I mean? Like a yeah. no, hundred so. nickels. That's so. That's you know, uh, you've got seven, seven, seventy-five percent of that is copper. Twenty-five percent of that is nickel. So how much does a nickel weigh? You know how much? And do it. yeah, you have ninety-one nickels in a pound. Ninety-one nickels. And that's in a pound. that's a fourth of a pound of nickel. So you would have 360, 360 I didn't know this was going to be on the nickel. test. I know. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't ready for this. Did I didn't, I didn't think math? we were going to talk about metal prices. Well, <laughs> crypto, yeah. Danny came in and he was like, let's talk about the London Metal Exchange. Yeah, the price of nickel has, has gone up recently. And well, there's a lot of crazy effects of this war. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> crypto solves this conversation ever happening again. Yes. Yeah. There's no <laughs> pennies in crypto. Yeah. There's yeah. just a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a fraction of a penny. Yeah, that's better. I don't know. Yeah, but look at it this way. If if the small, if a Satoshi, the smallest... The smallest form of a Bitcoin or fraction was worth one cent. One Bitcoin would be a million dollars. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. And then the future people are like, we need to get rid of these stupid Satoshis. <laughs> no, Nobody uses just, them for anything. But, but, but they're not. But you would because it would just be like that's 3,000 Satoshis. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, it would just be on a ledger. And then everyone's good. I, I think Bitcoin is the currency of the future. I think uh, the, the World Economic Forum type people, they love it. And uh, I'll tell you this, too. Did you see that they just... Yeah, we were just talking about it, but, you know, Biden. Well, I, I went to Davos mm. in, I think it was 2017, maybe it was 2017, and the whole thing was crypto. Like, the whole event, like, obviously, the World Economic Forum, Economic Forum itself, which is security and, like, high profile, we're talking about a lot of things, but the peripheral events they do, because people, what happens is when the powerful elites meet, roaches, you know. Like they, right now, here. Are mm -hmm. they Are they meeting? Yeah, in this room. No, well, it, it course, was. Yeah. I think it's in us. yes, us. It no, was so diabolical. We're talking about getting rid of the penny. I know. <laughs> what, 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 <laughs> happens, right? This is how it happens yeah. behind closed doors. Yeah. No, when you true. when you have like a thousand millionaires and billionaires all meeting at this privileged event, then you get a whole bunch of people worth a couple hundred k trying to push their businesses who show up at the base of the mountain, like they're in the Scum, mountain. Yeah. And then they they put on events, but they're they're connected, they're friends, they're family. They're just not as high up. Yeah. And and so when I went there, the whole thing, like almost every business was like pitching crypto, and they're like, this is the future. There were like government officials and family members. I was meeting like I was meeting like presidential families, and they were like, "Bitcoin's the future." I'm telling you, and I've been telling people, I'm like, I think I think the World Economic Forum, Davos elites, the global elites, they want Bitcoin to take over. Now Joe Biden has just instructed, you know, they're saying you have to in investigate a digital dollar or whatever. So there you go, it's coming. Yeah, I've, either uh, it's there's a, there's half. There's one where it's they want it, and then there's the other version where you know you realize you can't compete with it and this is happening whether you control it or not. Right. <clears throat> yeah, I think so. some people have said- Can't like, beat them, join them situation. Can't beat them, join them, and then take it over. Yes. But but if they if they do a digital dollar, they tokenize it, it's going to have to be on what? The Ethereum network? Or are they going to have to make their own version of Ethereum? I don't think they're they going to make, make their own blockchain. blockchain. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think blockchain. the idea is to make their own blockchain. and I mean, or essentially nationalize the blockchain. Or have no blockchain, which is even scarier. It's just another ledger that they control and have well, access to. Well, isn't that to. essentially just the bank at this point? Right. Yeah. yeah, so so something interesting happened. I, I we had to buy a vehicle for uh, for the company to pull the RV. So we got a, we got a, a Ram truck, and I bought it through a bank, and uh, they don't let you come in and buy it outright. Many of these places, so you have to finance. And they said, but if you finance it, you can literally pay off the bill tomorrow, and there's no fees or anything like that. You just it's done. But we won't do it personally. Why? Like, because they don't want to take the risk. If I say like, here's a check for fifty grand, they're gonna be like, and then what happens if it bounces? We don't want to deal with that. Have the bank pay it, and then you pay the bank back. Have the bank take the risk. Okay. So this is what we do, right? And then like two days later, when I get the bill, like I get the notification for online, I pay the whole thing off. And then two or three months later, I get a phone call from this bank, and I ignore it because I'm like, I got no business with them. Another day goes by, I get a phone call. Another day goes by. And then finally, I get a voicemail, and I check it, and they're threatening to repo the truck, which I own outright and paid for in full. And Didn't go through? They, they lost the transfer. They lost the transaction. So I called, my, they were like, we don't have any transactions from you. Like you owe us the full amount. And I was like, I went to my bank and I did everything. I was like, I went to your website. I filled out everything as you expect me to fill, fill out. My bank debited the cash. And so I called my bank and they were like, money's gone. And then I was like, where, where did the money go? And they're like, sir, do you know how banking works? And I was just like, yes. And they were like, right. On our end, we wrote in our ledger, the money is gone. And this account now has the money, which means they now have to deal with it because we've subtracted it from your account. So I'm like, the money's just gone. And like, it's gone. And then I called the other bank what? and they were like, we have no record and we have not updated your account. To I'd be going this. postal right now if this is me. Blink well, Fitness I... scammed me out of $1,000. <laughs> and I was, I was ready to burn the place to the ground. I was so mad. Well, so I tweeted at him 
and then everything got better. Mm. It's funny how how this how the how yeah. isn't it you have to these days. But that that is so messed up. That what'd you like, tweet at them? That the, what the bank they stole what, my money. What bank? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say it here. Like it's been you resolved. already did. I thought I didn't say the name of the bank. But oh, okay, but it, it was it, it's a it's a large bank and. Uh, they said. Did you tell them, like, listen? By the way, the tweets and the tweeting's about to start. This is your first warning. I was like, if this you don't fix this, I'm going to tweet. So help me. And this they is were a like, tweet. And then they were just like, tweet ahead, sir. Tweet, t- go ahead and tweet, sir. What are you going to do about it? And then I went to my million followers on Twitter. And I was like, this bank is stupid. And they called me back, like, I am so <laughs> sorry. Oh, I told I'm, Blink I'm, Fitness I was about to tweet, and they said, <laughs> he said, they said, <laughs> they said. They said we saw it. We did, we didn't care about it. we didn't the tweet didn't matter, but we did see the pythons in the photo. Yeah. and we don't want to be yeah. messing with those. I'm so. right but, now. But, but here, let me let me let me let me clarify. Like in all for all uh, in all seriousness, I did tell them on the phone. I'm like, guys, I went on your website. I sent you this money. My bank took it from me. It's not here. You're stealing from me. You lost it. You figure it out. And they were like, no, we won't. And then I said, then my only recourse is what to sue you. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to tweet about it. I'm going to talk about it. It's going to be my number one said, topic. And they said, yeah. fine, by all means. We, I think we did mention it briefly. I tweeted about it. And then all of a sudden I get emails saying like, oh, we're so sorry about this problem. We're going to rectify it for you. And then uh, what ended up happening was I, I pulled up the information from my bank and sent them. Like, I, I don't want to do this. I'm like, why am I sending you my statement? Yeah, I don't and, want to do a bunch of work because you yeah. screwed something up. It's not that. It's like, I don't want to send strangers my bank account information. It's oh. got more than just that I do one that transaction. All the time. But, you know, if we're doing business. I've got a bunch of other transactions and people expect privacy. So what am I going to do? I'm going to just screen grab the one bar saying the money went through. And they're like, yeah, I'm like, OK, fine. But anyway, I'll tell you this. Here's what really bothers me about our modern society is that, yes, my friends, I can tweet and these companies bend over backwards for yeah, me. You can. Yeah. Right. That's screwed up. Yeah. Yeah. I was flying on American Airlines once. Jordan Peterson was getting mad at Microsoft the other day. <laughs> and, then, and, then, and it works. <laughs> yeah. I, I flew I for flew, him. I flew on American Airlines. There was a storm. We didn't know what was going on. We landed in Texas. Everybody was delayed. I tweeted, what's going on with this? And I immediately get a message like, we're going to take care of you. Skip the counter. Go right to this guy. And they were like, we got you booked already. And then I'm watching like, you know, 500 people waiting in line, all angry. Their flights are delayed. Yeah. But th- th- this is a problem because it's creating this. I, I, I don't like the classism, the elitism, where if you, if th- this is why you get virtual signaling. You get the influencer deal. People know that if they have followers, they can bully people with influence. It's stakeholder capitalism. Yeah, that's right. And it's creepy. It, it yeah. shouldn't be that way. It is a little creepy where I go, okay, I'm getting screwed over by this, you know, car company or gym or whatever. In my case, Blink Fitness. Uh, <laughs> so did you resolve it by tweeting uh, that? I'm currently resolving it on the Timcast. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've been talking about this for a while. I know. I haven't been. I've resolved it, but currently I never got my money back. Uh, <laughs> what happened? What they I'm, cur- I'm currently. I mean, it's their, it's my their, war. It's their literal it, business. His model. war is over. My war is just beginning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See those swords in the background? You know, yeah, this we're... is as much as I hate the empire or dislike being it. The FDIC insurance is like if your if your bank account screws you, if your bank screws you, you can get it the money back. But once that's gone, if that's not there, it's it's the well, wild you're west. Right. That it's worse than that because that was what everyone says with these things. They go, yeah, just get the money back. But what they do is they have your account on pause for a year or two years mm-hmm. instead of canceling when you try to cancel. Then they open it up two years later and just start charging you. Then because Blink Fitness, uh, Blink Fitness is the name. Yeah. Uh, and because of that, my most people's credit cards have changed a couple years or at least, you know, whatever percentage, if you change every six years, then 30% of people would every two years would have a new credit card. So you can't call your bank because they just have you owe us money and it didn't go through the only, and then they go, it's going to collections. So you can't call your bank because it didn't yeah, actually go through. It. Why don't you send them an invoice? Send them an invoice for what? Do, do the same thing back. Well, like, I can't, is, I can't send it to collections. Yeah, though. you can. I see what you're saying. You literally I, could. But wouldn't collections go, I go, the bank owes me $600. Not, <laughs> you go, Imagine collections goes, <laughs> yo, yo, yo. I go, for uh, what? I go, didn't you ever hear the story? Pain and suffering. <laughs> there, was, there was a dude. I can't remember, I can't remember exactly what this happened. This seems like a lot of work. Yeah. This dude had a thing happen where the bank accidentally um, filed like a, a claim against his house when he had paid it off. And so he sued them back and won like 1200 bucks, and they refused to pay it. He showed up with the sheriff and they went inside and started taking the bank stuff. That's so funny. But, but people, Love it. 
I mean, look, I'll, I'll be honest. It is really hard to, to use the systems the way the corporations like what impossible. The way, it's not impossible. And, and you know what else? Is but that, it's hard. It's hard. And it has to essentially be a passion project because you're going to spend a week of your life to save a few hundred bucks most of the time. D depending on how you have it set up. <laughs> it legitimately has to be your hobby sort of yeah, thing. Yeah. Well, you got super yeah. screwed because of the whole wrong credit card. Because normally I just said to you, I go, just call your but credit card It's part of their company. business model. It's two years later. But yeah. the point remains, it is true. Wait, wait, the hold, only hold, way hold. to get your... Uh, anything done is to you know how exert influence because they so as soon as that happens you go okay so you are able to deal with i don't know properly. why you, why don't you go laura loomer style and just go outside of blink headquarters <laughs> and just sandwich board? literally just sandwich board. <laughs> and just yeah sandwich board and then i actually still might handcuff dude, yourself dude. to the blink would, equinox <laughs> dude if you just that start, would be really funny that, first off that'd be hilarious. I mean, the opposite of this guy if i handcuffed myself to the to the, <laughs> the, the, the stairmaster this guy's got himself out. handcuffed <laughs> to the donut tray <laughs> I go, I'm not, I'm not leaving until I get my money back. Yeah. I'm at the Dunkin' Donuts. I ain't leaving <laughs> until, until you give me another chocolate dozen. <laughs> no, that'd be funny if you showed up at the Blink Fitness with like a sandwich board and yeah, you're I like, might. you're protesting. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. Give I, me my money back. Well, that's the thing where it's always, you know, you, you all you can do is go in and sort of yell at the the employees that have nothing that's to do with the scam. Yeah. You know? No, or, I'll say the Blink Fitness, they're not They're helpful. in on it? They're, <laughs> you they're getting, nice. a, they're they're getting a taste of that. They're <laughs> not helpful. <laughs> They're you getting made, a taste. I think yeah. you made a good point out. Like social pressure is is the way or one of the ways. And that's what like Antifa's been doing and BLM's been doing to get things canceled. But it is like power, power, yeah. no truth, but power. If you can get the mob to get behind you, the corporation will bow. They have obviously a lot of these places. That, yeah, there's a lot of places, you know, the blogosphere as essentially to some degree, their influence is worth so, a lot less than it used so, to be. So they've Ryan, devalued you, you, all their you've, tools. You've not gotten your money back from Blink Fitness? No, I, I, it's the case is closed. I paid it and it's over. But they, but you're saying that they, and I basically said, and they were like, blah, blah, blah. Sorry. And I go, well, no, you stole $500 to me and I'm not really? happy about it. So they, they, <laughs> they, they stole 500 bucks from you. Yeah. Something like that. So yeah. like, More, probably. so if, if, you know, I don't know, hundred twice, by the way, this, this is, I don't even need to get in the nitty gritty, but they did the same scam to me twice. So and I paid it off and canceled. I mean, there is a saying, it's it immoral <laughs> to let a sucker keep his money, Ryan. So, <laughs> so if, if hundreds of thousands of people, uh, hundreds yeah, of, yeah. you know, who maybe listen to a podcast, decided you want to message me and do a class action reach, situation. Reach, yeah. Or just send an email saying, Blink Fitness, you took this guy's money. You're, you wrong. blink and your money's gone. So yeah. it's, it's I mean, if you go look that. at the Yelp reviews of Blink Fitness, every single one of the reviews is what Ryan is saying. Wow. Yeah. What Nobody's is, like, great gym. It's all, <laughs> they scammed me out of my money. Give me my money back, Blink Fitness. Where's wait, wait, my oh, money? Oh, yeah, yeah. I lost, uh, I lost a pound the first day. How'd that happen? They took my wallet. So it was that you signed up, you quit, but in the contract it says we're gonna, it's a, they're gonna start your account back up in a two years or uh, no, based, it's because of COVID. Because of oh. COVID, I basically they put it on hold, oh. and then they go, okay, you have to if you want to work out, you have to come wear a mask, and you got to do a certain time. I go, okay, just leave it on hold. They go, we can't, and I go, okay, just cancel it, and then they go, fine. So they go. Oh, and then it's three months later, I just start getting charges again. And I go, oh, they go, I thought you canceled. They go, no, we didn't cancel it. Uh, we just put it on hold and now you owe it. So I go, just cancel it now. And they go, well, unless you pay this $500, we can't cancel oh, it. Oh, wow. And to cancel it, you have to send in a letter to and their corporate office. Send in a letter. You can't go yes. into the location that you signed because I was yeah. going to the same Blink Fitness system. Oh. You can't go in there and say, hey, I'd like to cancel. They go, okay, uh, here's an address send a letter to this address requesting cancellation. If they want wow. to, to cancel, they basically are like, you need to do, you know, we're going to give you three challenges. Yeah, it's, <laughs> seriously. You you know, I want to cancel this account. They go, you have to climb this mountain in under no, four no. minutes. So it's like, a, they're like, just go through that door in the back and you go through it. And it's like a, this like lush elven paradise and there's a bridge and you try to cross it and a troll comes out and yeah, like, asks you three much. riddles. That's yeah. exactly what it is. You've got to cast the ring into the fire. And you go, to... and your uh, receipt for cancellation is in one of these nine boxes. <laughs> <laughs> you must four... cast your membership cards into the fires of yeah. Mount Doom. Yeah, if you open the wrong door, it's f you just bought four more years. Like, this is probably <laughs> triggering so many of your listeners who have gone through this exact same thing, buried this in the back of their mind, and now this is coming back. Well, this is how yeah. gyms make money, though. Yeah. yeah. You know, gyms, they, they, they know Stealing. everybody... Everybody signs up and on guys January named Jim 1st. make money working as mechanics. How, how, why true. gyms? How come it's always gyms listen, listen, that do this? I'm explaining. Oh. On January 1st, everybody's like, I'm going to show up and I'm going to get fit. And so these gyms in the first week of January get massive signups. And they, they just know, scam them for the next couple of years. Right, because they know no one's going to come back. Yeah, and so they're just and like, things. they tell you, because I signed up for a gym and it was in like February or something like four or five years ago. And I, I still pay them to this day. Yeah. Well, because it's like, it's like canceling bucks, so is admitting defeat as well. Huh. Like you're, you're essentially saying I give up when you cancel. So, so many people 
do that. And then they're like, well, I, you know, I might go. But what, yeah. what, what they tell you, can't go after when that. you're signing up, they say to you, like, this is a two-year term. They force you, you to be can't... a long-term hodler of their gym right. membership. <laughs> yeah. But um, I, I think, like, I don't, I don't mind having a specific gym membership because you never know if you need to use a shower. That's a, <laughs> that's definitely 100% like battered wife syndrome. You go, <laughs> no, it's fine that I pay 300 bucks a year. Maybe one day I'll need a shower there. <laughs> that's so because fun. you could just go in and pay to Yo, get, to use a shower. When you're traveling around the country several years ago, when I'm on like one, it was one and a half flights, like uh, two flights every, every three weeks, like I would fly and you don't know exactly where you're going to be. I've popped into a, to one of these gyms and I've been like, right on. You know, well, the trick going. is to pop in without your membership and act like, oh, what the? You I mean, that's the hack. Act very all, confused. All the van people, all the people who live in right. vans, uh, the, the kind of nomads, that's yeah. their deal is you, you get a, a gym membership. Yeah, you sleep in Walmart parking lots. Yeah. That's the future. You'll, own, you'll own nothing and you'll be happy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I had a friend <laughs> do that. He was like a camper kind of guy. He loved it. But well, then, I mean, but then I, he I'm needed down. to meet a woman, and he's like, "I gotta go get a house." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But what if you get like, what if you get like a full size house, but you know, with wheels? Oh, so yeah. it's not a van; it's literally a house you can drive. Yeah, yeah mobile home. They believe they call those. Yeah, it looks like home. yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. but like a real it's a camper home. That's my mom. Like we're talking mobile. about the homes where they're like, you ever see them relocating an actual house? That's and, cool. Yeah. and they're like driving it like ten miles an hour. Yeah, and there's a porch and everything. Yeah, yeah like it's a whole house. You know, what we should That's do. Wild. We should we should build something that can like fold out into a house. So it's like it can be a driven tent. on the back of like a sixteen wheeler, like you know, like yeah, a, like a tent. I believe you're ex I'm so describing a tent. No, I, you know, like with walls and oh. like power outlets. Oh, okay. You ever see those houses where they they three D print it? They're like a concrete yeah, yeah, the, tube comes yeah, out. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's cool. We're getting close to the right materials, the meta materials that are super thin, super lightweight, super strong structurally. Nickel. Well, well, look, yeah, look nickel, let's, something let's, like nickel. Yeah, let's, let's, we're going to build this dollars. house with nickel, copper, nickel, Bitcoin, and Russian bones. Yeah. Right. Well, Maybe there's, there, you know, once you make enough money, you do two things: you replace all of the electrical uh, work in your house with silver yeah. and graphene, mm -hmm. because you know. Because yeah. why not yeah. spend $3 million on the electrical system? And then it's a good investment. Yeah, because mm -hmm. then no one knows. And when the apocalypse happens, you just punch your you wall and away. pull the silver out and yeah. boom. That's how you get You're out. You we're get, out of here. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Rip it out of your own walls. Let's ride. Let's bring this ridiculous conversation back to the war and stuff like well, that. Well, what happened was, yeah, basically Biden the came war out. War against Blink Fitness. Biden came out and he said, <laughs> contrary to what I want to say before, was uh, I'd like to make the announcement the United States government is going to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is that happening? I was exact thing he said uh, spreading fud is now going to be illegal a crime punishable <laughs> by death joe biden came out and said the united states will be canceling its blink uh, blink fitness membership yeah. canceling the blink fitness membership and we will be uh, uh tying american coin it's going to be tethered one to one to doge is there has anybody <laughs> looked into the possibility that this whole putin ukraine thing is just because he had a gym membership in ukraine yeah and that just, makes sense yeah. he couldn't he, he, he goes was, i can't cancel he goes you know what well i'm gonna go in there and i'm gonna cancel it myself he shows up and he goes to biden in a meeting and he's like <laughs> You know, look, everything's great. We're fine with the <laughs> sanctions. We're going to work it out. I know we can negotiate. Shakes Biden's hand. Just one, one, one quick thing. I got this gym membership. <laughs> at Blink Fitness. It's, it's an American company. Uh, and jo and Joe's just uh, are like. Are you familiar with Blink Fitness? <laughs> but Joe's like, oh, dude, you, you signed a contract, man. You got to pay. And Putin's like, dude, I don't go there anymore. And Biden's you know, just like, are. bro, you, you signed the contract. Biden's you gotta, like, you, what if you need a shower next time you're here? Yeah, it's exactly. good. <laughs> and then such like, and then all of a sudden bombs are dropping. Yeah. No, but uh, in terms of the war stuff, like you will own nothing and you'll be happy. They're talking to us about eating bugs for the longest time. They're talking to us about living in the pods. Then they're, you know, they're talking about to stay home and work remote. And then as soon as the COVID thing like disappears, all of a sudden now it's war with you, war, war with Russia and Ukraine. And it's, it's like the same prescription. Gas prices are through the roof. It's, it's like this, the same issues are starting to occur. They just found an, and, and the same things are happening where there's like, Hey, we have a new reason that we can just print money and then yeah. distribute it as we please. Yeah, they haven't quite they haven't quite turned on that spigot yet, but that's probably yeah. They, the next I mean, they just announced fourteen billion to Ukraine oh, or something yeah, like that. That's yeah, change. that's great. And or whatever. I'm just saying they have to. Oh, oh, you're yeah, just yeah. saying they haven't. No, they're not like the trail the COVID trillions, like the four trillion or whatever. I mean, that press is is still hot. <laughs> yeah. This is the, this is the crazy thing. This is why you know I've been saying I'm trying to buy as much as I can for the studio and the and the company instead of waiting. So we bought like five desktops. We need them. And they're just like, they're cheapos. They're small. Like you, you can type on them. You can't really do anything. You, like you can barely watch a movie on them. A couple hundred bucks with, you know, with a monitor. And I'm just like, we need them for the office. We need them for, you know, writers. Just buy them all now. Cause I'm going to wait and it's going to go up 50 bucks. It's going to go up a hundred bucks. I mean, especially anything that has any kind of chip in it. 
Yes. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. We're going to lose Taiwan in two seconds. Oh. I don't know about that. I, I thought for sure I'd given up. But now seeing all these sanctions on Russia, I think that the, the CCP is more about profit. I don't think they're really yeah, yeah. going to throw all this. McDonald's yeah, they're not going to shut off the West like that. I just think it's the raw materials. I don't I don't mean China's going to uh, stop providing chips. I think it's just going to be like they're when, not going to have the materials. To you know, I'm a, I'm a big booty judge fan. So, yeah, so when he came out and said, you should buy electric car, I was like, that's a good point. So I bought like seven of them just, oh to, make, just to make sure. Because, <laughs> cool. you know, I, I, I don't understand why poor people don't just do that. You know what I mean? Just just buy a couple electric cars. You don't got to worry about gas prices ever again. You don't have to think about it, bro. Yeah, you don't got to think about it. Yeah. Just buy an electric car and you can just drive it. The funny thing is, you know, the que you, you ask the question of these people, where does the electricity come from? It's like fossil fuels. The or sun. Plant. It doesn't because, come from the Well, do you see, I don't know if you saw the Alberta guy from Canada, because they were basically, when, when all this stuff happened, they were like, okay, we need to, you know, find more oil. We're going to meet with Saudi Arabia or whatever. And the Alberta guy was like, yeah, happy to meet you. We could sort this whole thing up pretty easy. You just have to open up our pipeline again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> pretty funny. The do you guys key, ever go to US, Keystone? USDebtClock.org oh. and just, There's, it's like a trauma Isn't there nightmare. one in times you know what? in, so, uh, in think, Union Square? So in Union Square in New York, I always thought it was the debt clock, but it turns out it was actually a regular clock. It was all, actually my, <laughs> deep, <laughs> my D size. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It, 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 was, go, it goes down, you know. Yeah, it goes down. Danny thought it was the U.S. debt. It turns out it was his mom's scale. Oh, <laughs> yeah, but, oh, nice. but, you know, the number is going down. Is it? Oh, yeah. Of the, what? Of the debt? So the number in Union Square, New York. No, it's a clock with the, it's a, the it's date a, and time. But and... the back of the, the, the second number is the amount of time left decreasing. Right, yes, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So if you're looking at the number, you're seeing the digits on the right going down. So if you're to your D size, your D is getting smaller. Uh, sorry, Ryan. Yeah. Well, sorry, that sounds sorry, accurate. Ryan. <laughs> that I sounds mean, accurate. That, yeah, good, I don't new, believe good news for my pants <laughs> because, <laughs> because it's like pretty easy. Your pant <laughs> budget. Two clocks puts it at like a billion feet or that something. That actually is good news for the, <laughs> the pant budget. Now you can breathe. You know, I just, I, 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 we keep hearing this Good news. news for my back. <laughs> so here, here's what I did. I bought a bunch of emergency food. And I didn't do it because I think we're going to need to eat it. I didn't do it because I thought the apocalypse was going to happen. I did it because I thought it was going to become more expensive in a few months. And I'm like, if this stuff lasts 30 years, some of it does. And then I'm just like, <laughs> buying 30 why didn't you buy the 30 year old stuff? <laughs> no, it's just it's, to see it, what it tastes like. Buying no, it's, 30 it's, years of food is Like, is crazy. there a way that you can no, get No, no, no. It's not, it's not 30 years. It's food that lasts a shelf life of 30 years. No, but that's what I mean. No, I'm saying you buying food where you're like, you bought too much food. It's like, yeah, well, if we have to eat it in 2055, we'll eat it in 2055. Sure. Yeah, good, yeah. Well, because look, look, look. <laughs> We've got, you know, around 30 employees. Which Are you going to eat on that in the next 40 years? Yeah. Uh, it, within the next 30 years, is there a possibility that there's a storm? Is there a flood? Is there Solar a blizzard? Fire. Is there a, well, sure. But I'm thinking about it more practically like sometimes it rains and there are floods. And, you know, we got the river right there. You'll be the only guy. Everyone's eating their bug burgers and you're going to have all your 30 years of supply of food. He's going to have his space food. That's it. Yeah. Unfortunately, not. It, it's it's a bucket that lasts thirty years. It's a it's like a day's worth of food. I, I, for I have the a company. question. Did, did they for the these? So the expiration date. It's free. It's like dried in a package. Yeah. You can put it in a bucket for thirty years, but it's like one day of food. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I got it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you said you said thirty years worth of food or something. No, no. I'm like, no. Day. We've got like two weeks worth is, of food. Is is there? Can how, you, well, how much did you buy? Enough for like two weeks worth of, of food. But what, my, my point is, oh, I, thought you I don't know. think I don't yeah, think yeah. in the next few years I'm going to eat it. I'm like, I just think in the next few years it's going to double in price. <laughs> Might as well buy it now, I guess. It's food. Your worst so you say your portfolio, you're like, what's your important portfolio? I got some of the SP 500, a bunch of Nutri-Grain bars, uh, <laughs> yeah. hard, oh, the hard copy. The pie chart <laughs> is, is actual bunker pie. Why don't you go look at our storeroom? We, we've got maybe like a thousand swords. Gatorades. <laughs> you have a lot of swords. Gatorades. You have a lot of swords. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's yeah. what you want. Which you really the Tim Kess budget is 50% swords. We should, we should <laughs> probably actually film it because it's funny. Be like, we need to think and prepare ahead, which we get. Swords. 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 Blades. Yeah. yeah. Blades and we're all, we're all training. Weapons. That really is what you want. Clubs. You I want did buy them. a bunch of swords. That's going to be you just like eat, eat, uh, opening up and divvying up the bunker food with the with sword. The sword. <laughs> yes. All right. Everyone so we got portions. Jing, jing, cling. This, this behind me is a wakazashi. It's not a sharpened blade, but it is a sharpened point because it's more like decorative, but it is real. But you it's could, more for poking. You could poke. Okay. But, uh, but for the most part, it's meant to just be like art. It's like I, I think it's like a it's like a laminated blade or something. I don't know. Maybe it's not. Right. But it's not supposed to rust or whatever. Yeah, they look and cool it was on like, the wall. That's for sure. It, 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 it's actually it was, it, 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 it was nice. People were complaining with a mall sword. Hey, you got a sword and an axe. <laughs> oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah. There you go. But people were complaining about my mall sword because I went to the What's mall. A mall sword. Oh, you um, bought one from a mall. Yeah, it's like just cheap steel. Right. Cost ten bucks, and everyone's making ex girlfriend's fun of it and, name engraved in it. Yeah, that's some <laughs> yeah. anime on it. And I'm just like, why are you guys ragging on my mall sword? I know it's a mall sword. Fine. So I bought an actual wakazashi from a company that makes them. And I was like, just unsharpened because, you know, we don't actually 
need to go around. But then I thought about it and I was like, I'm going to buy a bunch of actual swords. Yeah. Talk about swords. I'm like, you know, here's what I'm thinking. Going to get more expensive. Might as well buy it now, huh? I mean, the, the raw materials in them definitely will be. Yeah. The steel and whatnot. Yeah, man. Iron. And yeah, especially if you, though, if you have to use them against someone who, and, and who knows how to use a sword. In the springtime, those weeds, man, That's they right. grow quick. Dude, whacking so weeds with a sword in your underwear. Yeah. That's more important. <laughs> Just let the neighbors know who's boss. Also, yeah. the severe Just in, allergies. You, know, you can see the muscles. <laughs> Deep July, just whacking your weeds with a sword, wearing long johns, no shirt. That's right. The sweat flies we off. Got, um, sneezing I got a titanium sealed you know, uh, katana. And we're gonna go out, and we're just gonna we're gonna do the lawn. We're gonna we're gonna you know swipe the grass. <laughs> Titanium. <laughs> nah, yeah, that doesn't rust. <laughs> yeah, and you you know you just gotta you want to get the grass the right height. Yeah, no. To be completely honest, that'll keep people from swatting you again too when they see that image. Right. Uh, this, this this like I, I bought some swords, and uh, we, we the, the food stuff. Although I'm serious, because it's like if. We've, we've, we've eaten a ton of it already. And that's the thing. It's like it's food. You just eat it. It's, it's mac good? and cheese. It's mac and cheese. Oh, it's okay. like craft. Uh, then seeds. you're sort of dipping into your investments, though. Yeah. <laughs> Never get high on your own <laughs> supply. I'm big, Biggie right. died 25 you're years ago. You're dipping into the drug enough. <laughs> you're breaking one of the crack commands. I don't know if you bought you actually. No, this is actually true. I did. We should get a thousand times more than we think we need. Because they're not the expensive. Gonna... No, it was just in case. Now you know talking. the funny thing is, though, like, if, the, if, if it does, you know, go to like nuclear war with Putin or whatever. We're, people are going to watch this and they're going to watch it <laughs> laughing at us. Like, even I the just dude, love the, the level no, they're of They're going to be trying to too. find out the address of this place so they can <laughs> get some of it. Yeah. Well, this, they have everything we need. Because on the one end, it's like, okay, let's buy this compound and build this thing. It's like, okay, that's investment one. Investment two is like a bucket of slop. <laughs> hey, 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 this is good food. Yeah, yeah, got pancake slop. mix. Yeah. Yeah, got can you, stroganoff. Can you find out, like, do you know what the price of uh, a good example would be around Y2K? Because that was, what, 22 years ago. I'm sure they were selling these things. Good I idea. wonder how much they've gone up since then. And then it would be interesting to eat one of those because I'd be 22 years old. Yeah, how old nice. are How old are you guys? I'm 38. I'm 38. You're 36. So uh, is it just me or did everybody on Y2K turn the power off at their house on New Year's? No, we did not. You didn't. Do we that? just played magic. You guys didn't do that. Uh, I wasn't at my house. Magic. I, was, I was at a friend's. My friend's house. They turned the power off. I don't. Remember. I actually and everyone can't was remember. Like, oh, like it's 1207. Oh, you did that happen. as a gag. I didn't do it. Someone did the party. Oh, oh you saying someone did oh, that? You're right. Oh, someone yeah. was doing that in every house across. Right. Yeah, the world. Every yeah. every dad joke. Turned I think the, I did puke the breaker. Night, though. That was nuts. <laughs> Playing magic you together. I just was in, I was sick that night. Yeah. Oh. I don't know. Stressed out. You know maybe. the, you know the funniest. I remember I had a girl in a car in a bridge when it was happening. Right. Yeah, probably. That's the way to go. <laughs> no, but think really about suck if the world's about to end. That's right. No, no. Think about how insane the fake news was. Like how insane the fake news was about this. Oh yeah. The media was saying Y2K. So you know what we did at my house. We, we had a bunch of computers and we went into the BIOS and we like set the internal clock for like a half an hour. Then we went into Windows. We did the same thing. See what like, happened. And we sat back and literally nothing happened. And I was like, this is dumb. So nothing's going to happen yet. And we were like, nothing's going to happen. They're making it up. I think they thought that because of the way computers were reading data, it was going to like cycle to all zeros and well, reset. Well, it was for like the banks. And they were like all the corporations. Computers, yeah. But they were, they were making, able to do that. Thanks like, to zeros. They were making up. Y2K compliant programs you could buy. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, it just... Change to zero zero and nothing happens. This article Hulk. from Q that was one of the most embarrassing, like uh, mania. Bro, this yeah. don't say gay thing is basically Jesse Smollett. <laughs> no, for real. Like yeah. they've made up a problem in their own minds, and now they're complaining about a problem they made up. And Republicans are complaining about how the problem they made up is actually a good thing. And I'm like, yeah. what is going on? So like I'm I'm seeing Ben Shapiro tweeted them, and he's like, why are you trying to indoctrinate kids? This bill stops that. And I'm like, no, it doesn't. Right. It's like the left made it up, complained about it, and then the right argued it was a good thing. But none of it is true. <laughs> they, they they got baited into you totally. know defending it essentially. Yep. Yeah. No, that was one of those. It's the don't say straight bill, by the way. That was the one. As as soon as I saw, I was kind of like, whatever you guys are saying, it's not that. <laughs> I go, what's yeah. a, what's actually going on here? Everyone seems to be lying. Yeah. But, yeah. No, it's, it's it's so we called it. I've called it the anti grooming bill as kind of a point. And I say that to to as a point to counter the Democrats calling it "Don't say gay." No, I know but, what you but mean, but it is the that better, is the sorry. The, no, I was gonna say the better point is call it "Don't say straight." Yeah. There's literally no difference between straight and gay when the context is identity or orientation. So if the bill restricts classroom discussions from preschool to third grade on orientation, then you can't say straight. What about "Don't secretly talk about sex with students" bill? Can we? Can it doesn't we call stop. It, like it doesn't that? stop that. It actually it that's the thing it actually encourages. 
This is the craziest thing. Uh, the bill encourages teachers to secretly talk to children about these things. I thought that there was banning them from secretly no. talking to children. No, you are incorrect. Yeah, it sucked to have kids. What? Right now. You're saying it's like the Catholic Church being like, any sex talk's got to be one on one. <laughs> the bill yeah, restricts doors. classroom discussions from preschool to third grade on gender identity or orientation. That's not the bulk of the bill. Like the, the actual bulk of the bill is parents must be informed about medical issues involving their children. That's it. So it's like a kid who stubs his toe. Tell the parents a kid got hurt. If you, okay, let's say that you are uh, the person who would be on the non-Republican side, super in favor of kids. Is there anyone arguing that sex needs to be taught to JK? Yes. yes. Like, is that? 100%. With the, with they're like, yo, uh, 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 so like, how old are you when you're you know JK? Like six, five. So they're saying five-year-olds need to be like, here's four, what anal sex four. No, no, no. Like. It's, it's four-year-olds. Yeah. Preschool is four years old. And third grade goes up to eight-year-olds. Where, and where's that? Where are they arguing that should happen? So the issue is that, this is why I said- Like anyone legitimately, like is there- So or CNN. Is this, no, CNN, not like fringe bloggers or is this CNN legitimate? CNN runs a story about Kate McKinnon, I think her name is on SNL. Oh, yeah. And she does a bit where she's first pretending that it's like you can't insult someone by calling them gay. And then she realizes- what it actually is. But CNN shows the bill would restrict discussions of gender identity and orientation in preschool through third grade over Kate McKinnon talking about it. So I'm like, do we sit here and just assume that the people who go on CNN, the people who watch CNN, aren't aware of what the bill is and genuinely think it's stopping kids from talking about orientation? Or do we assume, based on CNN accurately reporting it, they know and they're trying to teach four-year-olds about sexual activities yeah yeah because it's it, you're, you're you're i see what your point is you go i mean if you're lying at least you're just up to your old tricks but if you're not lying or it's dumb. worse yeah or whatever so right? my thing is uh it's also just strange where you go i get the i I think that people just they leave any sort of thought when they go this is what our team thinks is and you go really you want to like what grown adult really wants to take someone else's kid and be like let me tell you about sex when they're four but, I think but the bill I don't hold on, hold on, hold on, my, my, my friends, my friends, my friends, the bill doesn't stop this. A teacher, a janitor, a school district employee can walk. Well, the janitor, up, yeah, yeah, the definitely. janitor should be teaching you. <laughs> that's, I mean, yeah. I learned all about sex yeah. from my I mean, janitor. Because the bill says school district employee, <laughs> yeah, yeah. they can walk up to a group of ten kids and say, "Kids, I'd like to talk to you about why you're trans." And the bill doesn't stop that. What the bill stops is that if they're in the classroom for a specific classroom discussion. Well, does it encourage that though? It just it, it's it doesn't have anything to do with that. You're saying they're it, allowed it, to have one on ones, but they can't be teaching in a group setting. They are allowed in group settings. They're not allowed in classroom settings. They're not allowed in classroom which settings. Specifically means the bell rings. It's nine a.m. The teacher walks in and says, "Everybody, turn to page seventeen, and we're going to learn about oral." Right. They can't do that. They can after class walk take up them to, to the group. woods and show them the. I don't yeah, know about all that, <laughs> but they can. They, so let's say there's a group of kids and they're talking about this stuff. The teacher can hear it and walk over and say. Ask me anything you want, and we'll talk all about it. They don't got to tell the parents. All of that is still acceptable and fine as far as our Republicans are concerned. I don't know, because they're still in a classroom setting. Even if it's after classroom class. Classroom discussions. Even so, if it's like after school, if it's in the classroom. It's essentially about the curriculum is what the argument's right, about, right? Right. So one-on-one -on -one is, is in the clear. There may be some questions about with more than one person, but nothing is stopping a teacher from having a— Let's, let's just, let's just go, go to that point. A teacher can walk up to a student who's four years old by themselves— Pull them out of the classroom. Yeah, Yo, you say, gay or nah? Right. <laughs> yeah. And what? But there's there's one thing the bill does. They can't say don't tell your parents. They can't do that. So they can still have private discussions about this stuff. They can say literally nothing. But if they say don't tell your parents, now they're crossing the line. They're like breaking the law. If the teacher says don't tell your parents, yeah. And, and then so what's this, the what, what about it should component. be how they say don't tell your parents. It could be like hey don't they tell can't your parents. Dis they like, they you can't better dissuade. not tell your parents. Well, they they can't discourage or dissuade uh, students from talking to their parents about medical issues. Mm. So this is the crazy thing about the bill, and we talked about it for like three days now, is that if a kid trips, uh, slips on vomit and breaks his arm, the teacher might go up to him and be like, we're going to get sued because that's our fault. And they go to the kid and they say, don't tell your parents how that happened. Just say you, 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 you were playing outside. Yeah, don't tell them that I had a couple extra today in class. No, for real. And, and barfed. Because, Let loose a little. So, I mean, obviously drinking at school will be illegal for the teacher. But let's say a kid trips on something. It's a school's fault. And the school just comes up to them and knows the kid's not smart enough to, to address the issue and says, don't tell your parents. The kid goes home with a broken arm. They call the parents. Oh, he was playing outside. The kid doesn't tell his parents because the teachers told him not to. No, no, now the insurance, now, now the insurance, like we're not covering it. And the school's like, it's not our fault. And now the, this poor middle class family is being put out. So that w the reason I bring that up 
is that the Democrats narrative on the whole thing is just like they literally made it up. It has it has nothing to do with this bill. It is just like that, that's why I'm calling the bill. Yeah, the don't kinda, don't your, say straight. Don't in say your straight. mind, you kind of go, yeah, wh- who even came who even ever read this and interpreted that was what was happening? Yeah. Gay and straight's not a medical thing. So what is the trans it's, it's mental health? What is the trans uh, component? Nothing. Identity and orientation, I suppose. Well, wasn't it that if you're, you know, uh, K through two and you are taking Three. hormones, you're supposed to notify the parents? Is that the idea? Not in the bill. Uh, the bill just so says if the, the teachers can't give medication to students. Yeah. If a student would be prescribed any kind of medication, the parents must be informed. I, see, I, I'll tell you this. I've I, been trying got, to get to the bottom of this, to be honest, because it did feel like I go, what the hell is actually happening here? So let's say your kid's it's at like school, a right? propaganda salad coming right. around from everywhere. Let's, let's say your kid's at school. And he gets a stomach ache. And so they say, we want to give the kid, kid some Pepto. Make his stomach feel better. Got to tell the parents. Good. Democrats are opposed to that. That's no. Because the, the reality here is they're saying don't say gay as a psychological attack. Conservatives have fallen for it. Conservatives are playing into that narrative because the reality of the bill is they want to make sure parents don't know what's happening to their children, period. It's not about gay. It's not about straight. It's not even about any one specific thing. It's about saying don't let parents know what we're doing in general, because then we can now take that principle and do some uh, critical race theory. Do teach them whatever we want. So they claim they're not teaching critical race. So it's theory more about than that. They admit it. It's it's just you know it wasn't until COVID we actually learned what they were doing to kids because the Zoom classrooms and the teachers got freaked out and like we saw these leaked calls where they're like parents are finding out what I'm telling their kids. That's what it's about. The the, the teachers can't teach children things you know outside of curriculum. Te- uh, parents can sue the teachers if they go outside curriculum. Teachers can't, you know, uh, take medical action against a child without parental consent or, or, or advisement. If a kid has a medical, mental, or physical issue, they have to inform the parents. And then one provision is preschool through third grade. You can't have discussion, classroom discussions on uh, orientation or identity. It sh- there it's is all something. very reasonable things. It's right. not unreasonable. Right. <laughs> like, you know what else there is something to be said about? If you want to teach, like, essentially your worldview and propaganda— then be a university teacher because that's like that's basically the job. You get to do your course and you can kind of teach the whatever you want, and which is very worldview and very what you think. If you want to teach grade seven, you know maybe just teach the stuff. You guys <laughs> ever play? You ever, you ever play Lemmings? Yeah, uh, yeah. I remember back in I played on like a Windows ninety five. Yeah, I, I don't oh, who, who came up with the I idea? Thought, NPC Lemmings. I think it was Seamus. Yeah, the idea would be. I think I was talking about how I play the game Lemmings on my phone. And the idea is someone t- mentioned they're programming a version of it where instead of lemmings, they're NPCs, like a little right. NPC meme. And we're going to, you know, when you, you want to like dig through a wall, he puts on like an Antifa mask and starts like <laughs> vandalizing the wall. And, well, like, I thought this Russia stuff in general was a very, you know, from back to back with COVID just to show the extent to which it's so easy to get people hyped up on for whatever you want them to be hyped up about. And it's like, it's funny, it's funny to point out sometimes, but you go... It's almost would just be like, man, it's almost as better to be a politician because you go, it is, or whatever. If you have a real agenda, it's very easy to get people jazzed up for whatever you want them jazzed up about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and nothing, and the hypocrisy doesn't matter. I mean, you, you know, we we're talking about all this trans stuff, but like all the stuff that they were mad at people about for four years straight, Ukraine could be doing it all of that, and it could be, you know, on video, and it'd be, all right, we don't care. I mean, there was that, you guys, before the show, you pulled up Zelensky. And he was doing yeah, exactly. like Roman salutes, Nazi salutes, and yeah. he was making jokes about buying Hitler's book and all that stuff. Well, he's making jokes about how the Mein Kampf was sold out in the Ukraine, <laughs> which is because well, the Azov well, in the Western Ukraine yeah, are well, like they, militant well, Nazis. They've been about, around. No, but imagine that years. was you know some you know politician running for New York. That's well, you know, I, yeah, but also like you know. Putin was like, we're going to denazify, and everybody's like, okay, whatever. Like, that's your pretext. Nobody actually believes that. And then you, we're the you ones see that call like, people Nazis. Yeah, well, uh, yeah. but everybody, but then you see it, and you're like, oh, there actually are like quite a bit yeah. of like yeah, real the, Nazis. In, in, and then remember in the Ottawa thing, the protesters, and they go, ah, oh, look, there's like a Confederate flag, there's like a Nazi flag. You're all Nazis. And then you go, okay, so there's all the guy. People, then are, are all these people in Ukraine Nazis then? Yes, the, all the people you also—they don't—they don't care. No. White, no, I know they don't care, but it's no, that like, yeah, that's reserved for podcasters. <laughs> yeah. The Azov were basically in Western Ukraine during World War II. They were like insurgent Nazis that were fighting on the side of the Germans. Right. Yeah. But uh, my point leftover is, from when when Ukraine was a German protectorate after World War One. So there's definitely like nuance to all of these points, but the point, my point, is that the nuance is granted very differently in every situation. And it's like, and it's almost it's pretty egregious. To the point where it's interesting 
I would even see with other people, I go, you can't, they're not going to get hyped up about something completely opposite a day later, are they? And they will. Let me, let me, let me pull the story we got from TimCast.com. Poll finds Republicans and independents would stay and fight if America was invaded. Democrats say they would flee. I know this guy. And he was tweeting up a storm during 2020 about how Trump was evil and Trump was bad. And you know what he did right after the election? Nothing. He moved to Europe. Oh. And I'm just like, this dude votes for Joe Biden. And then within a couple months, the ship is sinking, gas prices, all these problems, and he's gone. And he's gone. And here I am sitting here holding the bag, and I just feel like, yo, these people are evil, right? It's the banality of evil. It's not diabolical evil. It is, you know, what, neutral evil, I guess you'd call it. It is, it is. Indifference. Indifference indifference, as they watch things crumble around them. They say, I'm going to vote for Biden because I want to signal to everybody how virtuous I am, but I'm gone the moment he gets elected. I'm going to go live somewhere else because we know how bad it's going to get. And there they go. They go off. I mean, so it's funny they say they would flee because the same people who are like, when Trump would go, I'm moving to Canada. None of them None did. of them did. Yeah. None of them did. And the funniest part is we were living in Canada at the time. We go, that's well, rich that you all think you can just come here. <laughs> like, I, but, it's, but, it's this weird American exceptionalism where you guys think you can just go anywhere. We can. Bill Clinton and did there's it nothing during Vietnam. <laughs> But uh, with Trump, things things were good, yeah. you know. So so when Trump got elected, these celebrities were like, well, you know, my four hundred one k is doing well, my bank account's doing well, I'm getting more work, I'm okay. When Biden hits and everything starts going bad, they're like, mm, I'm gonna get out of here because things are falling apart, and it's their fault. Yeah, and here I we mean, are. I would not so want these, to Europe. These people say the majority of Democrats said they would flee if the U.S. got attacked, and that's a crazy thought. You know that these people are helping steer the ship Iran, but they have no problem admitting they would jump overboard the, mo- the sign of any any conflict or turmoil. Leave us holding that bag. Yeah. Oh, I just said that Clinton fled to Canada during Vietnam. I think that he just sought and received deferments mm-hmm. to avoid combat being sent to the jungle. Good job, Bill. I don't know if he actually went to Canada or not. Okay, well, Canada, that was different. At the time, Canada actually did take uh, people who wanted to not go to Vietnam. Yeah. I think. But I, if you tried to get into Canada during Trump, I'd be one be like... worse than gone. I would, you know, be just, I'd have both uniforms in my backpack and then whoever was winning that particular <laughs> battle. Yeah, there's no way I'd, I, I would do everything I could to not get sent to go to the meat grinder in the jungle. There's yeah, no, I don't think no I'd be war. fighting any wars. Well, or... Vietnam I get, but let's, like, what, what would happen right now? Uh, you, you find patriots. If America got invaded, would you be on the front line defending America? No, I'd be on the front I, line of uh, Windsor, Ontario. Yeah, I'd be on the front <laughs> lines of a gender assignment <laughs> surgery, reassignment <laughs> surgery, misdoubt firing my way out no, of this no, no, war. No, no, no. You're in America now, all right? You are suckling the bosom of this country. You yeah. will stand. Suckling defend. the what's the reverse of suckling the bosom? <laughs> whoa, whoa. Funding being, your pr- social programs. Being, <laughs> we're, we're being held by the ankles and just shaken <laughs> out of your mind. Yeah. Well, the taxes are higher in Canada. New, New York, York City paying are for they? your or no. IRS. No, no, no. no. Keeping York Blink City has higher business. taxes than anywhere in Canada, and we don't whoa. get free health care. Yeah, I, I'm wow. sure you that I'm not. Uh, well, but, suckling but off the you, teeth. You do. <laughs> what's what I said? Gross. You do. In and, New York. and you're tell and you're and to answer your question, yeah. If Uncle Sam came knocking my door, they're like, "Listen, you gotta join the battalion." I'll go, "Yeah, yeah, meet you there." <laughs> yeah. you go, well, do you on, need a on. jester? You're saying you don't get health care <laughs> in New York. That's but you do get rat kings. You know what a rat oh, king is? So I do know what a... I tried to write in a rat... So I did this movie. Remember Rob Ford? Yeah. The, yes. the mayor of yeah. Toronto? So yes. I, I, I made this movie about Rob Ford. I wrote it. He's the guy who's doing drugs, City. right? He's smoking crack. And I tried to write in a rat king into the movie. What the heck? A rat king. Where's Tell rat me about king? this rat king thing. What is that? It's uh, basically... It's a bunch of rats. And then their tails get all matted with like mud and dirt and then they all get stuck together and then they essentially become it's like a hive mind thing where they because you know now their tails are all stuck together so they have to move in unison because otherwise they're all (laughs) pulling uh so it's yeah see they're all there it's it's called the rat king and they Uh, do they move together well they have to otherwise how you get anywhere wow does one of them take over as the brain i don't know i think it's like a symbiotic like they all it's like a Ouija oh board, you know? Yeah, it's like a, exactly. It's like a Ouija board. It's like yeah. a corporation for rats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of. Exactly. <laughs> this crazy dude. I don't know. Is it is it real though? Because some people have said that it's like an urban legend. Oh, I guess there you go. I, it, it does look man-made tied it looks together. Like yeah, it's a psychopath. Yeah. Rat, king. <laughs> rat king phenomenon. Synthetic all, rat kings. Huh. T- uh, tears, tears yeah, tears I don't. I don't know. There's rats everywhere in New York. That one, though. the medium one. Good eating. Left. Second top left. That looks real. Why on Wikipedia does it say historically this phenomenon is particularly associated with Germany? Why what? does it say that on Wikipedia? It's in the first paragraph on Wikipedia. Really? Yeah. yeah maybe they had You're saying that's 4chan getting in there? Yeah, know. what the heck? <laughs> that's weird. Maybe Germany has rat kings. I mean, but you're saying New York City 
Yeah, maybe. Oh, squirrels does. do the same thing. Oh, interesting. Squirrel, squirrel King just doesn't have a good. No, yeah, it yeah. Doesn't roll yeah. off. Yeah. The yeah. Top have you ever seen a squirrel? Well, rack? they do once they once you put them in your rectum, they get tangled. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a family friendly <laughs> show. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. Have you ever seen a squirrel rat? Squirrel. Or a, that was or a, a medical squirrel? procedure. That was medical. What is it? So they're not real. But I was in New York. I was in Central Park, and I saw it was a genetic. It was like a chimeric squirrel. Something happened to it where its tail, part of it didn't have fur, and part of it ha- didn't have, like, poof. It was al- partly albino. It's like a mange? So, like, no, no, no. It was, like, half albino squirrel. And so it looked half rat and half squirrel, but they, they can't procreate. So it's not a real thing, a squirrel rat, but people think they are because they'll see these mutant squirrels right. with, like, less hair on one side, and they think it's, like, a, a mutant, you know, like a hybrid. Huh. Unless but, they really yeah, are. it's just they're ill and diseased, right? No, it could just be a genetic thing. Yeah, it's like, just like a genetic chimeric. mutation. Yeah, yeah. yeah they they are uh, aggressive in New York. Oh yeah, the rats, dude. squirrels, uh, I would, oh, and the homeless. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the squirrels. I used Bro. to feed them, and they'd come up, and then every once in a while, you get one that would just grab the bag of nuts and run. And and, like, and pigeons, you can hold out your hand, and the pigeons will jump on you. You can walk up to a pigeon in New York and hold that food; it'll jump into your hand and start eating. Yeah, yeah. they don't have any. They're not afraid. Like, yeah. you, you know, and then what you do is you grab its feet, and it everywhere. can't get away. <laughs> And then you, you take it home. Mike Tyson. <laughs> Mike Tyson's going to be sad that you said that. Yeah. He, he they used to, they used to do that, you know, right? What's that? The, I think it was the, the, was it the rock? No, passenger pigeon? Was it? They that's would, the extinct it, one now. Yeah, in New York, they would like go out with a net and just catch pigeon and eat them. Yep. Oh. That's what Could you imagine do. living that way? Yeah. Like going out in New York and putting up a rat trap and being like, woo, we got some meat tonight. I mean, it's crazy, right? You know, that's what they do. It, that's the North Korean camps or whatever. You know, yeah. they put them in the labor camps. It's no. a, that's a delicacy. You should be so lucky to catch a Jeez. pigeon. People don't realize when we I say I mean, when you you're won't. eating all your bunker food, that's what me and Ryan are going to be eating in New York City. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to well, be literally be like, let's find us a pigeon and eat when it. Yeah, when you, <laughs> I wish we <laughs> bought some of those bunker supplies. <laughs> when he's we, feasting on that sweet, <laughs> sweet, <laughs> compacted granola. Yeah. Rice and beans. Yeah. yeah, just dry. Just rice and beans. You, plant? you got the Trinidad pack. So we're going we're gonna to be sitting there. The and, bunker and, mom. And, and, and yo, yo, we got chili powder and paprika. And we're going to be sitting there and we're going to be, you know, dancing and like, you know, yeah. eating rice and beans. And you guys are going to be munching on rat. And you're going to be like, Tim was right the whole time. This we're gonna be our hair is going to be rat. falling out from the radiation. Speaking and- Russian <laughs> and Chinese, a mix. <laughs> <laughs> Russianese. Oh this is Russian. The, you can plant dry beans from the grocery store. I yeah. never thoroughly thought that through, but huh. that's awesome. You can eat them or plant them. We just now you're just rubbing it in. Yeah. So now you have a garden. Get that. Well, we just, we just use an endless supply of beans. <laughs> we got a lot of beans. We can eat Danny's uh, crypto portfolio. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be very useful in yeah. the end of times. <laughs> it's crazy to think, uh, you know, if you go to certain higher end restaurants, they are often out of things because they're hard to come by. And we've we've uh, uh, every time I go there and ask for a hot dog, they're always out of it. Well, there's a there's a steakhouse <laughs> nearby, and it's like. They, they were out of a certain steak. They're like, oh, we don't have this meat. We don't have that meat. It's hard to get. It's really expensive. The prices are going up. You can't afford it. But we're so we're so luxurious in the United States that we don't even think twice about going into a local diner and saying, for breakfast, I want like a sirloin, top sirloin with scrambled eggs. And they're like, yep, no problem. And there are countries where you, it's like getting protein is unheard of. Yeah. So it's just so like Americans it's are just so totally. That's like a the you get is, that for ten bucks. Yeah. And that's why they keep saying you'll own nothing and you'll be happy because they're like time to eat some bugs, dude. And for me, well, I mean, for most people, they do own nothing, so that won't change very much. But yeah, I mean, there, food, there, there's an idea of you know, 15 years ago, people used to own houses. You know, people right. don't really own houses anymore. But this is young. because we've been taken over by oligarchs. No, for real. You know, uh, so I, I talk about wealth inequality every so often because I think it's a big problem. And there's, you know, it's, it's a very common trope on the right where it's like it, relatively dismissive of it. it's not an issue. It doesn't come up as often. Yeah. But when you have a small handful of ultra wealthy elites, what they do is like almost every time is they buy up as much property as they can because property is mandatory. Well, that's happening now. Yeah, exactly. So when I visited Ukraine, we saw this. It's the new rush. I was looking at lofts in Ukraine in like 2013. And the prices were comparable to like a house in, in in America. And I asked my Ukrainian friend, how is that possible? And she was like, it's a bunch of billionaire oligarchs who own they everything. Own everything. Yeah, they, and have they, park, tra- they have to park their money just all over the world. And so they trade amongst each other. But they, but I was told, but the rent is only like 50 bucks a month. Yeah. And I'm like, so it's a three. 300- so they take hits on them. No, not really. It's like the, the building should well, be worth that Well, much. they just want to own the asset. They don't right. care about the cash and, and flow. No, I'm just saying that. Well, that's what I meant by and only, whether you, however you want to look at it, if you're, only you're other, paying more than only other oligarchs can buy it. So they just talk amongst themselves like, oh, yeah, it's 300. You want it? OK, fine. 
And it's and then foreign investors. That's the other thing too. The oligarchs know we'll put the price comparable to the West because Westerners who want to get property in here will have to pay it. Yeah. We own it all. It's ours. Yeah. That's happening now with these companies buying up. I mean, New York City is, houses. has tons of like some of the most expensive properties are owned by Russian oligarchs. Wow. Oh, oh, right. that's, that's, oh yeah, yeah. There's a lot. There's like I've been seeing stuff where a bunch of these places are going up for sale because you know, like Roman Abramovich, he's like one of the big ones, and he's selling. He owns Chelsea. He's been like the big owner of Chelsea, and he's like, I have to sell it. He's selling Chelsea yeah. because of all this whole war. Wow. He's just like, I have to get rid of it. I can't wow. keep it. He's and who can it. buy it? Oh, someone will buy it. Oh, BlackRock. A big firm. BlackRock will take out a hundred billion dollar loan and then buy. Oh no, no that'll houses. be a, there'll be a lineup to buy that. How? Yeah, there's no shortage of American billionaires. Like, I don't get those. it how a company can take out a billion billion dollar loan of funny money and then just own now the property's theirs because the funny money said so. Like, I don't believe the funny money. What do you mean? Like, they take out Federal Reserve loans, which is just basically fiat, fake money. It's faith based money. And then they buy they can take hard federal, assets. They, they yes. do federal reserve. I don't think they take it directly from the Fed. They take it from a bank from that a took bank it from the Fed. Yeah, but I, they take it. They don't take it at 0%. I no. don't know. No, 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 not at 0%. But, but Ian, this, this is how banking works. I mean, they're they they describing assets, a mortgage. This is how banking works. immediately. This is how banking works. It's crazy. When I swipe my credit card, the money just blinks into existence. And then I got to pay. And these big companies have so much assets to take loans out on that they can take huge loans out and then buy the assets and then sell them back next year for double the price. I mean, 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 all of this is just based on the fact that, you know, the U.S., you can only do this in America. Yeah, it's funny money. It's the federal fiat currency. So how? And they know it. What? Well, it's I mean, like, look, you can take uh, you guys had your cash out earlier. Like you can take that cash and go spend that in any city in the world. Pretty much, other than the ones like North Korea where it's illegal or whatever. You can't do that with any other currency. Right. Right? Like, you go anywhere on this planet and say, here's a $5 American bill. They go, yeah, that's as good as anything. So, uh, You're saying I can't go, you know, you, pay, they're, pay they're, my tab in but, London with an Ethiopian franc. Go try and pay it with a $20 Canadian bill and just the look they're going to give so, you in Europe. <laughs> yeah. So here's what happens. Because I've, like, I've been, some American money. Like, I've traveled to maybe like 35 to 40 countries, and I've asked this a lot. And the response I usually get, like when I go to Morocco, and I'm like, will you take U.S. dollars? They'll go, okay, I guess. Because they got to go exchange it. But they're like, eh, fine, you know, I'll take it. You go, you do the opposite. You get like, you know, a bowl of our fuerte from Venezuela in your garbage bag, and you bring it to a Dunkin' Donuts, and you slam 300 pounds of cash (laughs) to buy one donut. And they're like, sir, get out of here. What are you doing? We're calling the cops. They won't. It's just toilet paper to them. Depends on where, yeah. Yeah, you're not going to. Bro, when I came back from Venezuela, we we had big garbage bags of cash. And so, did you really bring well, them? We didn't bring the full garbage bags, but we had massive stacks. Take them to the strip club? No, no. We oh. just I, I I turned the cash in. It was go it go was, usher style. Yo, yo, check usher it out. bucks. No, you bring the gun with the <laughs> yeah the gun they, with the Venezuela. They give us petty cash when you're working for Vice to spend on day to day stuff. All cash is right? petty to me. Sure. So we arrive <laughs> in Venezuela. I'm like, how do we do it? And they're like, you can't. It's illegal. You can't do the, the, the official exchange rate was like one dollar was seven, but they were like, that's insane because it's actually like seventy. So a, a guy smuggled in so money. 70, you need 70 bills per dollar. Yeah, something like that. So we had garbage bags filled with money and we'd have to pull out huge stacks yeah. and literally pay at a restaurant like nuts. Like, yeah, it's go. crazy in that hyperinflationary environment too because those people, there's no such thing as savings. It's like you have to spend the money instantly. It's, it's happening The now, moment man. you get it. Well, that's like why you got to have it on swords. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. but honestly, but the moment you, because tomorrow that loaf of bread is like, have you five stacks of money instead of four stacks of money? Have you guys been watching Sword Futures? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sword Futures. Limit up. Through, through the roof. Oh, I bought see like that, four or five swords. Do you see actually Venezuela that Biden's now trying to fix the oil stuff yeah, by dude. buying oil from Venezuela? Desperation, man. Yikes. And, you know, I just, I'm just Arabia. imagining like Maduro is like sitting in his office <laughs> and he's got like his belly hanging out and he's eating empanadas and like, but the phone rings and it's Biden and he's like, shh, 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 shh. He's like, it's Joe Biden. And they're like, oh, and they're like everyone's sitting around and he picks the phone up and he's like, yes. And Joe's like, come on, man, we really need some oil, man. We're hurting here. And then, and then he's like, let's negotiate. Call me the tin like, man because yeah. I need to be oiled, pal. <laughs> they're all cheering and celebrating. We finally won. Oil we held me. out long enough. Yeah, oil. <laughs> oil me. He goes, Saudi, he he goes who is this? Oil me. <laughs> Hello? It says White House on my phone. <laughs> it says White Oil House. me. <laughs> No, Joe just Bi- kidding, man. It's your old friend Joe. No, he's sitting in a it's wheelchair. Smile, man. With with a with a blanket on his lap. 
oil me. And they're like, what? Oil. And they're like, oh, it's Joe. It's Joe. Oh, Joey. Okay, Joe. You know what I love? The oil man. It's, it's your old pal, Joe the oil man. I love when they announced that they're going to be like, re they've done this a couple of times. We're releasing strategic reserves. And it's like, we're going to be releasing, you know, 10 million barrels. And it's like, dude, that's a day. Yeah. They, he said 60 day. million yeah, barrels, three days worth of oil. Yeah. Do you think he's just well, thanks, going by, uh, by didn't do nothing? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think gas is going to hit? 11, 11.50. 11.50 a gallon. I think it'll be hit 11.50 before people go insane. You know, no, but you start seeing revolts. I just I just went out. I bought a couple Teslas just to make sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we'll, we'll keep someone in the in the do ground. You have the oh. I'm kidding. Do, you don't have a Tesla? I do have a Tesla. Yeah, okay. But I was thinking <laughs> about buying a couple Teslas. <laughs> That's funny. He's like, he's like, I bought some Teslas. Yeah, you bought one. Got, no. Do you have a Tesla? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, mean, I do. Well, I do have you know? one. <laughs> I'm allowed to have one, Ryan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't so, have the no, but it is true. That's the I don't know. All this, this stuff is funny. Yo, yo. This is why I bought the Tesla. No joke. So I bought it, I think, how long was it? A year, year and a half At ago, least, maybe? yeah. No, it was one year ago, I think. One year ago. Could you and get Elon on Tim I specific. I'd love to. But I specifically was telling people, like, I think I'm going to go buy uh, a Tesla right now specifically because I think gas is going to go nuts. Yeah. And I was talking about it all last year for a variety of reasons. Now, here we are. They're saying gas is higher than it's ever been. It's like $7 in L.A. County. Yeah. And now in, in the average is like 450, I think. And they're saying it's going to get worse because all of this happening with gas happened before the banning of Russian oil imports. Joe Biden is so desperate. He's asking Venezuela for help. Yeah. Yeah. That's how it's, I mean, it's a perfect storm. What about buying Ron? a bunch of gas and just having it all stored Yo, in your someone, lawn? Someone did that in Chicago when now I was a kid. Talking. They took a bunch of 50-gallon drums and they filled it with gasoline and put it in their basement because this was back when gas accidentally hit. lit a smoke. And then the house exploded. <laughs> no, yeah. you know what? No, that actually legit happened. did. Oh, let me really? let me pull it up. Let you know, so up. remember when when oil went negative two years ago? Yeah. You know what's so crazy yeah. is that in the last two years, oil has gone from negative forty dollars a barrel to up to I think what were we at? One hundred and fifty is what, what did we hit? One hundred and forty or something? No. So it was what? right when COVID hit, and then oil futures like the April contract or something, literally because demand just disappeared. Like there was like, yeah, nobody's flying, nobody's driving, there's no demand. And so you could straight up, they would pay you, like if you bought an oil contract, which means you actually have to take delivery of a barrel of oil. Like when you buy an oil futures contract, like you're like, yeah, when this expires, you have to go pick up from Cushing, Oklahoma, a barrel of oil. And so normally like, you know, it's $140 right now. You pay $140 and then you go pick it up. They were like, come pick these up, we'll pay you $40. What to take away? But so then all these people on Reddit were like, "How are we gonna? We could probably make like a fortune on this, you know? We, we just have to store it." But you're like, you can't store crude oil in your garage. Like, <laughs> right. It's like the smells that come off of it, it's and like you need like, sunny. yeah, but you need yeah. like real facilities. And there was all these people yeah. like scheming of, like, yeah, yeah. If it was so easy, they would be doing it. Yeah, well, sure. yeah, but you go, first off, you got to go get a truck, go to Cushing, Oklahoma, like show up there, load up, and then store it until the. And I'm sure somebody who had all, everything set up did do that. That's right? why I should have got Tim for his birthday, just like a bucket of oil. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. happened, I'm trying to find the story. I can't find it. It happened too long ago, I guess. But and then there, the was like, was there was some oil trade. Somebody was trading oil contracts. And then his like account, he had like, you know, $10,000 in an account. And then he was, he bought these, uh, he bought oil at one cent a barrel. Cause he goes, it's one cent a barrel. It's like, he didn't realize that it could go negative. He just yeah. goes, it's one cent. Can't go below one cent, right? And then he like logs into his like interactive broker's account and he's like down a million dollars. Oh, wow. And they, they actually- because, That's some shit I would do. You know what though? But they forgave everybody in that scenario oh. because they were like, you know, we never told anybody that you could go negative. Like there's no negative in a brokerage account. You go to zero. Yeah. Right. And yeah. 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 Well, he just got a wild margin call kind of thing. He literally interactive brokers called him and go, you owe us a million dollars. And he's like, what? I don't, I don't have a million dollars. And how did you let my account go negative a million? And they go, well, yeah, that's oil's minus them. $40 a barrel. I'm looking at no, that's costs, nuts. crude oil cost for oil. looks like it's like 120 right yeah, now. Yeah, so it's 120. So. It was minus 40. 108 right now. They were now. paying you to take, to take they, the oil. If, you, you, if wow. you would show up and take away a barrel of oil, they would hand you 40. That's because it was going bad, basically. You guys see that video? No, they just had to, you know. they have <laughs> Going to, bad. No, you guys, <laughs> it, it goes bad. Evaporating. No, 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 no. They were Because Trump bought not at minus, but around then, he bought a bunch. And I was listening to him on the, the Nelk thing, and he was saying. He's got a big he, supply. He filled up the, the strategic reserves, and he said, they keep it in Louisiana in these like mines under the ground. Do you guys see oh. that video of the guy pouring gas into his pickup truck into, uh -uh. The, into the bed? No. <laughs> he lined the pickup bed with like with a tarp 
and he was just pouring it in. Some and good people, old white trash. <laughs> fun, people yeah. were like, "Dude, don't do that." And he was like, "Shut up!" And then he gets in the car and drives, and it just like splashes of back course. and forth, and flies out. <laughs> I mean, you've seen when someone does that with like a kiddie pool in there. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no, this one I can pull up. This one I can pull up for sure. Check this out. Jeez. That's like chemical weapon thing. Oh it? my! That's gross. That's toxic. Look at wow! It. That's stupid amazing. humans. Is that tarp? Yeah, he's actually filling. He's filling the bed of his truck. Of course, he's got a ponytail. <laughs> I was gonna say he looks. That explains everything. Oh, that's is that nice. gas? Gas yeah. is leaking out of the back seat? Yeah, look at that. Oh. <laughs> no. It's dripping out. What is this? What this is a human that? being. That guy's a Why human. Why would he do that? Now this do you, guy's now, now do you guys understand? Now do you guys understand Bill Gates? You gotta say something. I do. <laughs> I understand how people why the Romans called people plebeians. Like there was the elite class and then everyone else they called plebeians because they were like Wait till he drives. Is that by LAX? Putting I think so. This guy's got a cable access yeah, conspiracy actually, podcast yeah. that only his aunt listens to. Just don't let them know what's going on. It is terrifying. I think there are people out there like this. I love how this is really not safe. You're gonna you're gonna cause a big accident. Just beat it, will you? What, what's he gonna do with all that gas? Dude, yeah. into your, why are you why are you doing that? You know that they, they they it's not safe and they're gonna call they they're gonna call the the cops. Give me as much gas as I can. Dude, it's not that serious. This guy rules. If, if, <laughs> if somebody throws a lit gas uh, match in here, it's going to blow. Well, I don't think a, a lit match can go off in liquid gas. No. It's the fumes, though. Look at this. How yeah, are they letting these people him do need to it? mind their own business? This guy's rocking. Yeah, they're the Karens. Watch this. You guys ready for this? Watch it move. Watch it move. He's going to drive. Look at this. Oh, my God. What is he doing? Watch, watch, watch. All right, here he goes. Oh no, he's going too fast. <laughs> Look at I it mean, splashing yeah. around. <laughs> what is he doing? Someone steps on their brakes in front of him. <laughs> Where is he going with it? They're following him now? Yeah. Oh, you have Where to. Where does he think he's going? Yeah, of course. Well, now they've got a high speed pursuit. I know, right? Very Yo. low speed. Oh! Oh! Okay. oh. oh. <laughs> Tragedy. So Dude, that those, guy's those, wife told him that he can't take the gas, and he's proving her wrong right now. <laughs> this this yeah. is for those that are just listening. It's a pickup truck truck full of gas, and he turns left, and it all just flies out <laughs> over the right side. These are human beings, man. Dude, and so incredible. so you know what what Luke needs to understand. Luke Kudkowski, if we are changed, he needs to understand. He needs to watch that, and then go and read about what Bill Gates' plans are, whatever he thinks they are, because then then you understand Klaus Schwab. You understand these powerful elites. Don't you sympathize with them now after watching that? Yeah, as a powerful elite, I get it. <laughs> I, just, sure, yeah. I get it. The eaters, is that what they call those people? Eaters? People who I don't just know if consume they, stupidly and do dangerous stuff? I don't know if they actually call them that. Takers. Useless they call takers. They don't give, they take. I'd like to know, see Klaus Schwab do the uh, like the circuit of all the late night shows just to be like, hey guys, I'm totally misunderstood. You, you know, know? Go on Colbert. Oh, that'd be great. His, his doom, like his crazy <laughs> yeah, futuristic leather. Suit. And, he's, and he's like, I don't want people to die. I just want to take away their fuel so they starve and then. There's this book it's called Ishmael. Alex Jones came in and was talking. He was like, oh, I'm a gorilla. Murder. You know, and he's talking about like Ishmael. Ishmael's a psychic gorilla that's talking to the student. Tell him. In the book, there's givers and there's takers. And humanity is divided amongst them. I think that we're looking at like 99.98% takers in society right now. Just receiving electricity, receiving food, not really providing for the future. Yeah. Or I mean, you what was that guy's talking gas about bill, though? That guy must have just set a record for oh, yeah. at the pump. Like that was probably not. Although you know what? With run. the price of gas right now, we're the idiots. Yeah, Even really. if you lost <laughs> half this of that, that guy's still ahead. <laughs> this guy's that like, guy's honestly listening right now, being like, "Yo, you know how much like I'm up? I have this all sitting." in He my, sold it. He, he, went, he drove. Did, he drove back to the gas station. He did that every day. He's like, "I was doing that every day last year." He drives it from one gas station to another, <laughs> puts the pump in, and it sucks it back up into their pump, and it reverses the counter. And he's or like, "Or maybe I'm he's he's about to open his own like kind of artisanal <laughs> gas station." Oh, he's starting his own gas station. He goes and he's like, "Artisanal." I've been stocking up. America's finest gas. Patriots gas. Around gas. The world. Yeah. We we had this, this this bit we wanted to do as a joke about, you know, Bill Gates being mildly inconvenienced. And so that's like, you know, all of the crazy conspiracy ideas people have about him. It's just like He's on gear, right? He's he's super ripped. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. I, you hear Joe Rogan Shred. talking about him? He's geared up. <laughs> that he's like Joe was saying how ripped Bill Gates is and how healthy he was yeah, and so how healthy. he should be giving everybody medical advice uh -huh. because he's a very healthy individual. Mm -hmm. I'm kidding. Yeah, he, 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 he looks moves. like a guy. Oh, it was the opposite, actually. Yeah, it was the opposite, actually. That's only a, uh, you know, he's only eaten 
like a uh, sugary cereal with no milk for all three meals a day. <laughs> yeah. Like he just has like yeah. a handful yeah. of Count Chocula. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what he's been rocking. <laughs> There's a lot. Of, there's a lot of sketches. no water. He hasn't. He hasn't touched water he in three yeah. weeks. He just drinks Gatorade. He's there a lot of, he likes Gatorade. Did he drink the poo water? He did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He, he made a waterless water toilet. Did you see that one? Well, <laughs> what do you do? He's like for African. What, country, what they do at a lot of these environmentalist organizations is that the, the toilet is actually the top of the seat. Like the seat is a foot pad, and when you sit, the toilet has two levels. It has the seat up top. You sit on the top. Put and, the upper decker. And you, well, no, you <laughs> urinate at the top. And then you'd go number two, one step down. Flush your number one. With flush your number, use, use you the number one. Flush your number two. That's oh, that's right. kind of, actually kind of smart. Sure. Yeah. That's, you gotta be, it's, well, for girls, it's probably a little harder to, but it's a, no, it, no, there's a foot, the, the seat is a foot pad. Like it's a, it's a double layer toilet. There's like a seat on top. So you sit on the top, then you go it's sit like on the bottom. Yeah. Yep. yeah, but the problem like is when toilet, you're sitting, right? like you go, oh yeah, yeah, I, it's, yeah, convenient. Yeah. Just sit up there, let out the one, out of the number one, not the number two. <laughs> oh yeah, there's a lot of people. <laughs> no, I, I think what you do I is. I couldn't hold it. I go, yeah, I mean, I'll try. <laughs> when, a, when, you gotta go, when you got to go number one, you go on top. When you got to go one and two, you go in the bottom. Oh, and right. then you're using other people's number one. To. And if you're just a freak, you go one low below that. Yeah, <laughs> the so upper decker. Yeah. <laughs> the bottom. If you go, if you go, if you're a real freak, you go on the mechanics trolley. Oh my god! Take it into <laughs> orbit. Ryan. How about we go to super chats? <laughs> one level below that. <laughs> when you go to super chats, if you haven't already, my friends, smash that like button, subscribe to this channel, and uh, share the show with your friends. We're gonna have a raucous members-only segment coming up. What, do you, what, do you, what is this guy? Water. Doing? Oh, nasty. you want water? Over yeah. there in the fridge, I think yeah. there's water. a few. Can you, grab me some? Can you grab me one of those bad boys? They're I don't dying. know if we have these upstairs. Water yeah, there, there was. There was. There was? Yeah, yeah. yeah, these are. We have these. Um, someone asked me what these were, actually. This is a Numa Clean Hydration. Those are it's, good. I'm going to get yeah, one. Yeah, give me the chocolate mint one, right? You really yeah. like those? Don't have uh, there's no chocolate mint. No, chocolate mint. So <laughs> this, it's weird. Chocolate mint sports drink. This one's lemonade. It's, uh, it's like coconut water, lemon juice, Himalayan pink salt, stevia, organic cordyceps mushroom extract, wow. and oh, ashwagandha. Yeah. Oh, Luke is a huge fan of the ashwagandha. I like, I like ashwagandha. I think ashwagandha is good. There you it helps go. you, uh, there you go. increase testosterone. Oh, it's excellent! Oh, wow. Yeah. All right, we're gonna have that members only segment coming up, and uh, we will we will unleash uh, these fellas. I'm just gonna go in here and then we'll do super chat. Nice. Yeah, just push. Just just there you, there you go. go. I have Bill Gates arms. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, moves. All right, let's read some of your guys' super chats while uh, uh, you know we. Well, Ryan we, goes and uh, uses the toilet incorrectly. Yeah, that's right. Talking about toilets. Yes. <laughs> in uses it incorrectly. We confused him with the. Uh, we did. Thing you yeah, were just talking I'm about. scared. He goes, so I just go pee in the top one, right? Yeah, no. He's like Tim. Tim was serious about his toilet, right? He He's was. Like, yeah. No. I'll just do that. <laughs> All right, let's read. Uh, let's let's read what we got. What, what are people saying? Cordyceps. That's what it is, right? Cordyceps. Yeah. Cordyceps. Cordyceps. That's the mushroom. It's a type of mushroom. Cordyceps. Yeah. All right, we got a whole bunch of people saying happy birthday. Frost says happy birthday, Tim. I see the old six ninety brewer do a chocolate milk stout. Those are always lovely. You got to try it. Buy yourself as many as you can with this. Thank you very much. We did. Yeah, uh, old six ninety. We we were drinking. That's a local brewery for the uh, State of the Union drinking game we did. And they have. They also have a maple walnut stout. Wow, is that? Do we I have think that it in was the a house? stout. Yeah, it's downstairs. I do like the stouts. It's like drinking pancakes. Yeah, it's so good. <laughs> yeah, for real. It's like drinking pancakes. And These are good. Those little. are good. I like those too because you know. Uh, That's better than mint chocolate one. Well, so what happened was I got sick. Like I, I was like feeling really messed up, and I wasn't getting better. And my whoop was telling me that I was sick, and I didn't understand what was going on. What's and a whoop? So it's like a health fitness tracker. Okay. So, like, so I was really, like, I was, it's like World Economic Yeah, yeah, yeah. Terrible name. So I was waking up and it was like, you're not recovered. And I was feeling really sick. Something was wrong with me. And I'm like, this is not a normal sickness. Turns out I was dehydrated. And what I didn't realize, you can't just drink water. I was eating normal food. I was drinking water. But what happened is water doesn't have the salts you need to retain fluids. So I was just drinking water and just getting rid of it. And so I got dehydrated and then I had to get uh, saline and they told me to drink Gatorade. And so I did, and I instantly felt better. And I was like, wow, man, I didn't realize I was dehydrated because I was going to the bathroom. Everything felt normal. And uh, you got to take this stuff seriously. So I uh, bought I went to my doctor, and he has a don't say Gatorade law that he just passed. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> so we only drink Powerade at my but, household. Oh, okay, right. No sugar. So no added sugar. So it's got a little bit of sugar. And that's why I was like, all right, I don't want no, to get great. 50 carbs per Gatorade or whatever. You know, I don't want any of that stuff. Yeah. Sugar. Drink sugar water. All right, let's read. We got, we got uh, happy birthday, Tim. We got happy effing birthday, Tim. Thank you very much. Everybody's telling me it's my birthday. Yes, yes, I am 36. I am. I am old and I am 36. And people are saying happy birthday. We got another super chat. Seth is happy birthday. Happy, happy birthday. Beautiful. I have not God heard you say anything on the crypto bill that Biden is signing. It's a bill. I thought he did an executive no, order. Executive, executive order. Executive yeah. order. Yeah. yeah, I don't. I think it'll only help Bitcoin. 
I think the government saying they want a digital dollar is going to make Bitcoin stronger. Well, it did. Apparently, it went down for a second, but it's well. It went, when now, he announced yeah. it yesterday, it it dipped, and then it got leaked this morning, and then when the actual details came out, everybody oh, because like, people thought it was, was going to be everybody thought it was going to be. I mean, dude, shutting Joe it down. Biden goes, "Hey, I'm coming out with the crypto executive order." Everybody's like, "Ah, oh, this is not going to be good." Yep. So I bought Democrat a bunch of coin. I bought a bunch of Bitcoin when they announced the Swift thing. And they were like, "Russia's getting booted." I was like, "Oh, I better buy some of this." Yeah. And then it spiked. And then I bought some more again because I'm just like, yo, I'm really worried about what's going on with the world and the economy. And I'm pretty sure the World Economic Forum types love cryptocurrency. And then it jumped again. Yeah. I mean, I will say the one thing, that a real like benefit of it is, you know, for all the people who are like refugees or whatever. And, you know, you need to pack up all your stuff and go to a different country. You can literally, if you have Bitcoin, like you can take all your money in your brain. Yeah, if you know that. Like, if like, you know your seed phrase, theoretically, you know, where people in the past would have taken their diamonds and sewn them into their jacket or their gold or whatever, like, you can just take all your money and in your brain transport bro, it. Bro, bro, do you know about, like, um, what is it called when there's an escalation between the police and the criminals? I don't know. But you start wearing bulletproof vests. The bad guys start using, you know, armor-piercing bullets. You start driving trucks. They start, you know, using things that can, like, shut down trucks or get inside of them. You start storing your crypto in your brain. They start hacking your brain. Oh, yeah. You're, you, what is it? Yuval Harari? That's the World Economic Forum, Forum guy. He's saying blatantly that we're, that we're hacking brains. Yeah, I watch that. Well, isn't that what the neural net thing? The Give me your Neuralink? keys. Bro, you guys are going to you you plug into Neuralink, same as everybody else. Dude, being, having a clear brain is going to be so well, you mean for the future. Me and him but, like will and you won't kind of thing? I probably will, too. Oh, uh, I, like, I like people that. don't people don't realize. I thought you were saying like, look at you two <laughs> bitches. Like. Well, you're Canadian, so I, I figured you'd be a bit <laughs> more demure. Look sheep. A lot of people <laughs> you are, just plug in immediately. It's like <laughs> a lot of people are going to say no for sure. A lot of people who are watching probably will say no for sure. I think, I think the benefits 15 and 20 years. It depends on the, you know. There are elements where I'm like. If I plugged in and all of a sudden all my comedy documents are kind of like right there and I could, you know, I could see myself. No, that you don't even mean that is they're saying Apple's going to have a contact lens that'll right. that'll straight up. It'll be a contact lens and then it'll be like augmented reality. No, but so I won't. Like minority you guys, reports I'm not going to I wouldn't enter it for the coolness. I would enter for if I really I'm like, this is going to make my life so much better. How yeah. about this? How so about if this? they're going to be looking just, at my info. I would really have to be like, all right, my life is going to be so no, much no, no, no. better. That's hold what Zuckerberg on, on, knows that you guys, too. You guys are missing one key component. If So first, Non-stop I don't think, yeah. yes, I don't think sure. they're going to be like forcefully putting chips in people's brains. It's going to start with kids. Young kids, they're going to ask the Put parents. Put kids like, in your brains. Do you want, and it's not going to be a machine. <laughs> it's going to be a port. So Neuralink or whatever, they're not going to come out and say, we're implanting a computer in your brain we can access. They're going to say, it's a port and you don't have to connect anything to it. You can choose what to interface with if you want to. And what, what, what will eventually get people is if we get to the point where we can simulate reality in your mind, yo, everybody will do it. Yeah. Everybody. And then it'll be like USB in cars where it'll be obsolete in five I years. I don't want oh, that. Have the right port. What if sure, you could, but I, that doesn't interest me. What if you could will. click a button and live 50 years in an hour, but you are committed to those 50 years of, of thought and it's no, actually no. like that's a living plot line 50 from years Oz. and then you wake up and it's back to 50 years ago but, but, in your but, room. But that, sure. I, I like it's, like a, it's like a prison sentence almost. But why would, O'Reilly's well, brother in Oz. Is. That's what happened. Oh, wow. Why would it be, why would it be mandatory? So you got to look at how things are implemented, right? When the iPhone came out, it was revolutionary. And all of a sudden, everybody was like, I want this thing. It's got a camera on it. It's got a GPS on it. They know where you're going and no one cared. They literally track you and spy on you. They can spy it's on the microphones. different than your thoughts, though. Yo, yo, check it out. Uh, it, it, it is, but people won't think it's that they won't think like they won't think I mean, yes, it. Right. No one they'll you, say, well, yeah, they have access to it, but who's actually looking at my do, do do thoughts? Do you write down? Do you got, how many no. of your thoughts do you write to people? Like, you know, do you guys know what shadow profiles are? No. Facebook has a profile on people who never signed up. So if uh, you, Danny, you sign up for Facebook messenger, it says, Hey, can we help you find your friends? And you put Yes. It sends all of your phone numbers to Facebook along with all of their names. They see mom, 555-1234, and they say Danny's mom is 555-1234. Someone else signs up, and they put Pounds. sister. They put sister, <laughs> and then it says John's sister is 555-1234. Now they know who your uncle is. Then you'll get someone yeah, says, just start, they start connecting and then it'll say Janice, co-worker, and they'll be like, now we know her name's Janice. We know where she works, cause, and, and they connect, they make that profile, and, and your mom may have never signed up. People don't realize how easy it is to capture all that information. So right now, they know what you're thinking, even though you've never interfaced your brain. For real, like Facebook knows when you have to poop. I'm not exaggerating. I was reading a story about how Facebook actually figured it out 
because they can track where you go. They know what time you eat because they know where you're at. They know what time you get to work every day. And the AI can basically be like, it is, there's a 97% certainty that this person is going to the bathroom. Show right them now. an ad for the squatty potty. And they do. And then people, so people are just like, how did I get an ad for this TV? It's not because they're listening to what you're saying. It's because they know what you're thinking. Yeah, they're getting so good at predicting. That's like, like the Cambridge Analytica. That, the, uh, yeah, there was that story about a guy who started seeing mail come in for his daughter about being pregnant and maternity clothes. So he complained. I think it was to Target. I'm not sure. And he was like, why are you sending maternity advertisements to my daughter? And they're like, sir, it's an automated system. If the system detected she was pregnant, they sent her the ads. She didn't even know she was pregnant. That's she was searching things like weight gain or bloated or vomiting. And the algorithm understood those things meant pregnancy. And before she realized it, they were sending her ads for it. So here's what will happen. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff. There. Kids are going to get these. And they're going to be like, I don't understand what the problem is. And you're going to be like, we'll, we'll be old guys. And they're going to be like, don't you use Neuralink? And they're going to be walking around seeing crazy stuff. And then we're going to get these like, it's going to be called like Master Link or whatever. And then we're going to be old people with these weird bulky external things you put on your neck. And we're like, I can't figure out how to work the dang widget. And the, your kid, your grandkid's going to be like, let me help you, Grandpa. Why don't you get a modern, you put know, in your nose, yeah. And I, you're going to be like, I don't know. I just like this one. It works. And the buttons are bigger. <laughs> I would imagine you know. if you interact with someone that has the neural net, they're going to be tracking your behavior for for the company. And then, like, it'll get to a point. So, like, if, if you look in my eyes and you're in the neural net, the neural net's going to read my thoughts because you're looking in my eyes with your net. And then it'll be to the point where, like, we have to do it for defense. You have to always be recording everyone else's thoughts around you or the person's vulnerable. Yo. Then it's going to be, like, everyone's thoughts are I'm just, I'm just measured. saying you, people don't realize it, but when you get the option, they're like, how would you like to be a level 90 wizard who can throw fireballs from your hand? Just plug in the Neuralink, enter Skyrim 7, and you are literally feeling and experience the battle against the Well, dragons. and there'll be so much to do, you know, so many people for work, mm. it'll just be like mandatory where you go, you know, that yes. the meetings are going to take place in that and you go, okay, well, oh, you that's can like, be the person that is like, I don't want to work there. I mean, but, that is like five years away or less. Right. Well, but when maybe not. F- well, the yeah. Because they'll say but you can't discriminate, but the person with the net is going to be able to do five times the workload. But, that's not even gonna be but you won't even be able to, thing. you won't even be able to enter the the online meeting board unless you get on the internet. No, they won't hire you. They're going to be like, we do require Neuralink. Is that yeah. okay? And people are going to be like, yeah, sure, it's fine. It'll be the vaccine. It'll be a discrimination thing, a Supreme Court case. Then in 30 years, when the first Neuralinked person is on the Supreme Court is when we're in hell. No, it'll be a states thing where it'll a bunch right. of states are okay with it. Republicans are like, you can't force people to Neuralink. You got to learn and how the- to clear your mind. That's key. Meditation, because if they are measuring your thoughts, have no thought. It's, it's that's the oldest. Yeah, that's the, that's the only. <laughs> it comes full circle. All right. So well, you're saying girls are safe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's grab women's some more. Day. It's happy International Women's, women's Day. Day. Let's grab God. some super Shout chats. Out to all the women. We got Christina H saying, "Happy birthday, Tim." When are the Rage on behalf of the Machine parody songs coming out? P.S. The website is awesome. Been a member since pretty much the beginning. Highly recommend to anyone that sees this. Thank you very much. Uh, I think maybe you guys should do the gay parade. Rage on behalf of the machine. Dude, I know. I'm doing Did you guys see what parade. Ethan Klein was saying about me? Parade. So uh, like, yeah, you, I've seen you guys fighting a bit. Yeah. Well, I don't tweet at him. I don't care. Oh, no, I did a tweet, ha, 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 in response. But I tweeted Zelensky. He did the red salute. And I don't want to do it. But he, he, I was like, I'm not sure if he's supporting communism or Black Lives Matter. And it's like very clearly joking, I think. And, and, and uh, uh, Ethan Klein was like, Tim's trying to claim that Zelensky is a communist for using the universal sign of resistance. And I'm like, bro, if Walmart is using that sign, you're not resisting anything. Like, you're the machine, dude. Right. Like, you're not resistance. Yeah. It's so weird. Is that the universal sign? No, it's not. The yeah, red, sal- the, say, the red like, salute is literally the communist salute. Yeah. It would be like if someone was like, well, and I've heard the alt-right people say this, that you, you see them at protests and they'll be like, it's not a Nazi salute. It's the Roman salute. And I'm like, mean, same thing to everybody else. Yeah, so I the mean, communists to the point, fist. It's the I'm guy like, out there being like, no, this is the Buddhist swastika. It's like, yeah. sure, but have that f- argument at every party at <laughs> yeah, your right, own peril. Right, right. <laughs> All right, let's read some more. We got Rob Maddie says, I'd love to see you have Randall Carlson on to discuss the great floods in Atlantis. Would be nice to get away from the seriousness of the world for a day. Pretty sure Ian would have a blast with him. That would be really fun for like a Friday show where we usually like chill and talk about crazy stuff. Mm-hmm. Talk about the great flood. It would be good. To, I, I do want to refocus people to really, if we really want to come together as a human race about real like problems, comet impacts. You know, they wiped the, out the human race once before almost. So I don't want it to happen again. Andrew Knapp says rule of acquisition number one. Once you have their money, never give it back. And that's the Ferengi. Does he work for Blink? Yes. So <laughs> Blink Fitness, you guys may not know this, but they were actually founded by Ferengi. Are you familiar <laughs> with the Ferengi? 
Yeah. In Star Trek, they were a They're capitalist. The in Star, Star the, Trek, right? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm Jewish. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, I thought the, that was the deal. The Ferengi uh, are easily described as a nation that or people that abide by caveat emptor, buyer, let the buyer beware. And so they're just, they, 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 uh, it, it, dude, I love Star Trek, the next generation. Let me get, let me. so you've got all these different alien races that discover technology. You, the humans discover warp technology after a civil war and then the Vulcans come in. The Ferengi bought it. Right. It's cool. They made this, this capitalist race and they had a planet. And when people, when traders came, they were like, we want warp drive. So they don't understand the technology all that well. They're an underdeveloped society, but they're really good at Haggling. mercantilism and stuff <laughs> like that. Right, right, right. And they're, and they're, and they basically steal. Like, Sounds like my landlord. Yeah. Do they have it really good like perception? <laughs> is that what it is? Really good like, hearing or something? And they can like read yeah. their other well, I don't people's know about, I don't know about that, but they have big ears. Yeah, they have big ears. And then like, it's a thing in Star Trek where if you rub their ears, it's like erotic or something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh yeah, I do remember that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unforgettable. And, but, but the funny thing is- well, it's sort of this. like someone selling a uh, the Versace purses. They don't really know what's going on with the Versace, but right. they do know what they, the market yeah. value is. Rub my scary. ears. <laughs> All right. Common sense says if the bio labs are harmless, simple labs focused on food, et cetera, why would the U.S. fear them falling into Russian hands unless they were bioweapons? That's exactly what I was saying earlier, because the official statement from the U.S. government was we did help construct bio labs, uh, bio, bio safety level two in Ukraine, but it's for food safety. Why then would, uh, well, I suppose it's separate then from what the Ukraine is doing. So this, this is probably the, 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 the point. The, one, the labs the U.S. constructed, they're saying are, they're BSL two. The labs the U.S. are concerned about are the BSL-4s where the Ukraine is working on stuff. But then I have questions about, you know, people have brought up this point. Do you really think Ukraine is, is not getting support from the U.S. for bioweapons research? Like if, if, if Ukraine sure, is building on... these labs and do, engaging this stuff, the U.S. has got to be involved in some way. Considering they're on the border of Russia? Yeah. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not, though. Maybe not. Krang says, boys, 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 boys. Fellas. Boys. Boys. The boys cast. It's, it's about time we got a podcast just for boys. You know what I mean? Yeah, I've yeah I've been saying that forever. I mean, they've had all the murder podcasts for girls. Now there's right. for boys. Isn't it weird that women love murder podcasts? Yeah, it's a little, a little creepy. Why well, is that? I don't know if you know this, but this is a tip for Women's Day too. That uh, women are most likely to be mar uh, murdered by their husbands, right. which is why you should never marry your chick to keep her safe. So oh, um, even wow. if it's been yeah. 10, 15 years and her parents are pressuring you, your parents are pressuring you, I would never do that to her. <laughs> and even if you do propose, then go to go to the store, get milk, never come back. Yeah, her life is yeah. important. Yeah. Yep. The more you know. So, the more you know. Freedom right. over safety. Stay safe. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people saying happy birthday, so I really do appreciate it. Happy birthday. Tom. Your freedom, her safety. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> All right. Let's, uh, what do we got here? Chris Stark says, if you go to the partners page on the weforum.org, you'll find that all of the companies that pull out of Ukraine are with the World Economic Forum also is BlackRock and Blackstone as well as Cisco. Very interesting. Creepy. The Thong Song guy? Yeah, Cisco. That's right. The Thong Song guy. He, you can't listen to Thong Song in Russia anymore. <laughs> oh. No, Cisco is like Gone the biggest supplier of no, food, no, no. I think. Yeah. Oh, Cisco, oh, not the Cisco Systems. Oh, it might Cisco be Cisco Systems. systems. Yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Like oh, yeah, 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 right, right. It's the wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of the food thing. Cisco is both. You know what's crazy, though, is that like when you go to a diner, the food is almost always identical because it's one company that supplies them with all their, yep. you know, all their ingredients. Really? Yeah, it's like crazy. That Cisco. It's the other Cisco is like S Y S or something. Yeah. The, yeah. One, this one is Cisco uh, C I S. Oh yeah, yeah that's, yeah. that's the Maybe the conspiracy is that they're actually one company working together on our food and security. Oh. All right, Adam S says Tim Monero is the future, not Bitcoin. You said it was tracked with the Bitfinex hackers, but not true. It was not necessarily to track Monero to catch them. I would elaborate, but super chats are too short. The feds claim they were able to see their Monero accounts, basically what they did, and they knew where the money was going. Maybe not true. Maybe they lied. James Cutbirth says, Tim, I had allergies for most of my life until I started eating, uh, until I started eating about five years ago, local raw honey. It will save your life. Jamie from Hillsborough, Oregon. Yeah, I, I, I did eat some local honey. It doesn't do anything. Like I get, oh, yeah, I've done that too. You know, when I Same was- Same time every year I get, as soon as the trees just, you know, and all the cars are covered, it's like flu symptoms. But it's like, it's 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 the same. I don't get any sicker or less sick. It's just like instantly I'm sick, and then eventually it just stops. There's a day every year where the trees, like all the pollen, is just released. I yeah. was up in Cypress Hill above the tree line, and one day my windows were open, and all this yellow pollen yes. came flying through, covering all my surfaces. Maybe that was today. My grand my or grandmother yesterday. told me sorry she had bad asthma, and in, in she lived in I think Russia, and she said there was a month every year because it was before like met allergy medication. A month every year she had to go to the Black Sea because she's like I couldn't wow. really live where I lived. 
Right. National Women's Day. Allergy the pollination. Doing anything, I have the same thing with you. Not, I don't get stuffed up. I only get itchy eyes. That's it. I had really, my eyes were it's itching nightmare. like crazy last night. Yeah, and then dude, today, can't sleep. It's like Benadryl does work though. Yeah. I'm oh you man, out. I took some. I took some. Um, I took a couple different allergy medicines. Flow days. Eat no bread. It worked I'm a little cutting, bit. Cut the bread and sugar out. The try only, hydrating. The only thing that I found of everything I've tried that worked. Is the Benadryl? You know what? You know what? I tried. I tried eating Papa John's, and it, it didn't work. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> had a bunch of pizza That's on my birthday, and it didn't work. You, know what I mean? you ate all that bread? Didn't, didn't work. A lot of bread. Didn't, didn't, didn't stop yeah. your allergies? Yeah, for some reason, I felt worse. Huh. You know, his uh, <laughs> Danny's eyes are always crying a little bit, Aww. and I say it's because of inflation. Yeah, and I've been <laughs> right this whole time. <laughs> There you go. We've been making that joke for five road. years. It's now, yeah, you're right. Now it is. Chickens are coming home to roost, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Check this out. Paul Wallace says MIT is now polymerizing a material in two dimensions. Stronger than steel and light as plastic can be used in everything super cheap to make. Tell me about it. Maybe we'll make um we'll make lighter than air vessels that don't that are not powered. So like Ian was mentioning, like an aerogel. Like a gigantic aerogel. But if you were inside vacuum, of it, it'd be t then you, it would be. But if it, no, no, it, uh, if it's really, really big, it'll displace the air to the point where the air pressure pushes it up. <clears throat> yeah. So it can lift you if, so look at like, look, look at tankers, right? Is that Those, possible? Look, look how big tankers are. How do they stay floating when they're, they weigh like hundreds or thousands of tons? What, what, what does tanker weigh? Thousands of tons. Tens of thousands. thousands, of thousands tens of sure. thousands. Yeah. Yeah. Tens of thousands. They're cities, man. Because they can't displace the water. It's like, even though they're massively heavy, they're too, they're too, uh, uh they also have water in the sealed in the hall. I know that cause we watched one of those, uh, the Netflix with the, the cocaine F1 uh -huh. guy or whatever. How much yeah. You can use it as ballast. You yeah, can do the, the same thing with like air. The big F1. He was like, or not F1. He was an Indy car driver who was also this giant cocaine smuggler. And he would do it in that compartment and it was full at the bottom of the boats full. Of so water. you you could have a vehicle that's heavier than air. But because it's so, it's so, it's like not dense to a certain degree, as long as it's rigid enough and strong enough for you to stand on, it would be so wide that it wouldn't be able to push enough air out of the way and the air would lift it up. It would float. There's and materials you'd float to called, the top of the atmosphere, basically. There's these hydrogels. They're working on all these cool metamaterials where they, they'll take like aerogel, which is lighter, almost as light as air, if not lighter. And then they'll take hammer and they'll just smash it and machine it. It's super strong. So I'd imagine you can make chambers out of that and then vacuum them out and create some sort of buoyancy. Huh. Beautiful Bacon says, if there is any sword that is destined to be used to cut grass, it is the master sword. Yeah, I was thinking about sharpening it. We got it from a mall. We probably we, we probably need to redo the hilt and everything and like actually make it out of wood. I wonder if something. we can stick it into a stone and then like solidify it. And leave it in the woods. someone can pull it. Yeah, yeah. It, it, we need to put it in there. So the idea I had was to use a magnet and then make it so that if you know where to push down, it releases it so you can pull it out in front of people. And then put it back in and release the pedal, and then they walk up and they can't remove it. Okay. And it's like only you, only you are worthy. Uh huh. Or like a hook or something in there that hooks it. Something where it's just. Like, well, then they would see the hole and they'd be like, "Oh, there's a thing in yeah, there." The but magnet. you do it. You do a really strong magnet. You can't pull it out. That'd be fun. It would be fun and funny. Fun for kids. CS says honey is a natural antiseptic. Happy birthday! It is. Uh, we also bought a lot of honey, and for some reason, Ian bought a lot of vinegar. Dude, I like to bring that honey up. Honey and I have, vinegar. I have no Good idea combo. what vinegar is for. Dude, I, when I was recovering from COVID, I took a huge scoop of honey and I just ate it. And it was like the most magical taste I've ever had of honey. And then I took another scoop and it was like, no, no, that's too much honey. You know, too yeah, much yeah. sugar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shocked. <laughs> All right. Crimson7 says, Tim, can't buy a subscription for TimCast.com because I did that four months ago. Yeah. Thank you very much. Happy birthday. And thank you guys for all that you do there. Uh, if, you know, and I'll mention too, for anybody having any issues, just, you know, email members at TimCast.com. We are absolutely working our hardest to make sure everyone's getting their issues resolved. We are trying to, I don't want to say too much for security reasons, but we're working on a resilience and security program. And um, we'll give a shout out to the people that we're working with once we have it all configured. But basically, the goal is to be uncancelable. And so this means we're like building out systems that might cause bugs sometimes. But we have to do it. We have to do it. Otherwise, you know, one day you wake up and your bank's closed or something. The average weight of a, of a cargo ship is about 10,000 tons from World 10, War II. Tons. Yeah, that's... How does that float? Well, it's like it's wide, so it can't push enough water out of the way. So the water pushes it back up. And the average weight of my ex-wife. Oh, wow. Exactly oh. the same. You have an ex-wife 10,000 tons. <laughs> I I was I was getting uh, I was trying to mix it up from my Danny's mom's jokes. <laughs> it's getting late. I wanted to give people some of the street ish. All right, some of that good old fashioned street jokes. Dan C says, Tim, if you're looking for more swords, check out Scalagrim. People send him medieval weapons to review on his channel all the time, and he's always trying to get rid of all the swords he has. Oh, interesting. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, super cool. We're gonna have like a cool uh, sword room or something. 
you know. Merry Birthmas, says Brownie Ninja. Thank you very much for the Merry Birthmas. Raymond G. Stanley Jr. says, this is a live stand-up comedy from Boys Cast. Thank you. That it is, the Boys Cast in the house. Performer of the hit new single, Brian Stelter, is a sex machine. <laughs> He's a sexy man. Nate says, bok, 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 bark, bok, bok, that is all. If you go to Cast, uh, I'm sorry, uh, Chicken City. We have Chicken City Live. And uh, I, will, I will tell you this. If you go to Chicken City on YouTube and subscribe, periodically you'll hear me screaming. It's really? 24 hours a day? Well, so uh, 24 hours. <laughs> you stream it 24 hours a it's day? It's Chicken City, bro. That's so Dude, funny. Chicken, the chickens you, are alive 24 hours a day. Yeah. <laughs> really? It's a reality show, man. Yo, you're missing out. So there's, <laughs> check it out, check it out. Drama. How many viewers does it have at any given time? It's just got 14 the right now. I'm looking at it. <laughs> but, chicken City but live it's, stream. It's pitch black right Love now. Love it. And we have okay, over 4,000 okay. subs. And today we hit like 120 or something. Never viewers. doesn't stream. Well, it's only gone up a few days ago. That's so funny. check us out, check us out. So Roberto, right? He's the rooster. Well, he has a kid, Roberto Jr. with so Katarina. sometimes you catch him check doing it, it. Well, yeah, but check this out. Sure. So Roberto Jr. sees Dorothy and he's thinking to himself like, mm, you know, but that's Roberto's, <laughs> that's one of Roberto's harem, right? So nice, Roberto yeah. Jr. runs over and chases Dorothy who's like, no, and Robert, Roberto Jr. won't take no for an answer. So he jumps on top of her. Roberto screams. Aah! And then Roberto runs over. Roberto Jr. runs away scared. Roberto then looks at Dorothy and jumps on her after him because he's like, you don't get to, I, I do this. Roberto Jr. jump kicks Roberto, knocking him off the head, Whoa. and then he runs away. Dude, if you have not watched so Chicken City. So it's getting City, wild. Dude, it's yeah. like Game of Thrones. It's like Game of Thrones. <laughs> so does You're someone like, have to go through you gotta get the pick night the, vision. So does someone go we through and pick it. the we good parts? Do we just live stream it? Is this it? No, but how do you know that oh, happened? Like, did you catch people, that? Or people someone clipped tell it. You? We're posting it. And they were like, dude, look people at this. clipped it. And then there's other stuff where, like, you can see one of the chickens walk up to Roberto and, like, peck at his waddle because it's dirty and, like, groom him and, like, clean him or whatever. Oh. So there's, like, there's some emotion. You know what I mean? Like, you get there's the heart. a lot heart going walk. on over there. Yeah, yeah, dude. Yeah, the drama, the it's game. A bit of a will they, won't they. Yeah, exactly. This is the second time in two days that the this power thing must be flickering, I think. It doesn't like you talking about the chickens. Yeah. Yeah, Chicken City on YouTube, man. So we're working on the on the night vision cameras. We have them already. We have in New York. I might do a Rat city. Shout out to everyone coming into Chicken City live stream. What's up, everybody? Just, just film. Yeah, out just the I just put a GoPro in the subway. No, just put out your window. And they're like, oh, there goes one. Shout out to Terry O in the Chicken City live stream chat. What's up, Yo, dude? Wait, the next season of Chicken City, we got fifty six babies about to hatch. Oh. Right. And so what we'll try to do is we'll try to get a live stream on the babies as they're hatching for Chicken City, which is in like a week. Just get a wild, you know, get a wild animal, put like a wolverine and just have like massacre at Chicken City. The, the animals won't come over <laughs> here though terrible. because, so here's the thing I want to mention. If if you're listening to Chicken City, like at some point during the day, where I work, there's a window and I can see Chicken City. So I'll open the window and just yell at the chickens because I know people are listening in the stream. But then uh, the what other day- you yell? Give it to her. No, I, I yelled, uh, hey, hey. Boy, Roberto. <laughs> I yelled, uh, Roberto, oh, oh. No, I yelled, Roberto, keep it down, because he yeah. kept yelling. Show her that uh, Roberto face. I yelled, hey, Roberto, you're a chicken. <laughs> yeah. But here's a funny thing. Wait, when do I, you hear Roberto at six in the morning? Oh. Yes. Yeah. 4.30. No, 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 no. He, he just never stops. I hear Roberto All day. All yeah. day. He's just. And so his brother, his son, or whatever he oh, is. So you, you get woken in up? In the city. The son's like, oh. <laughs> Oh, that's the chickens. junior. Yeah, junior. The, the his, other ones more. They, they, so they compete with each other, and they were yelling so much their voices started cracking. And I'm like, oh, dude, like this is getting. We're gonna have to like separate them or something. <laughs> but I was yelling, and Dingo, the dog, was outside, and he like watches me as I'm yelling. And then I close the window and I go back to work, and I have Chicken City open. And then like a minute later, he, I see him like, you know, I look out the window and I see him, and he goes, raw, raw, raw. <laughs> and I'm like, that was the dog saying, what the f was that? <laughs> like opens the window and just yells. Like, what's going on? Huh? <laughs> but but he, he he pees on the chicken coop, which is really good. It keeps all the predators away. Oh, that's good. So the chickens don't even realize how good they have it, man. Like, they don't for, even know. For yeah, all yeah. we know, we're in Human City right now. And people are watching us. We <laughs> are like, in Human City. They almost, they almost figured it out. The predators are trying to get in our brains. All right, everybody. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to go film that members only segment. So head over to TimCast.com, become a member, and uh, help support our work. In the meantime, because that's going to be live at 11 p.m. Head over to YouTube.com. Uh, well, actually, do you know what the URL is? Do we have one? No, I just I searched Chicken one. City on YouTube, and it yeah. always comes up. At this I believe time. it's uh, uh, Patreon.com slash The Boys. Oh, yeah, no, no. Well, yeah. so, but listen, so, a white immigrant. Yeah. Go, go subscribe to Chicken City. And I'll tell you this. In all seriousness, a lot of people have been commenting that you'll hear like rain and like birds. 
and chicken clucking, and it's like nature sounds. A lot of people are like, it's super chill to like lay back and listen to nature noises. Until 4.30 <laughs> in the morning hits. Yeah. <laughs> it's really chip, plugging the new chicken channel. Bro. <laughs> you have no idea. So we need 4,000 public watch hours to monetize the channel. <laughs> so you want to, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because once we get super chats, we can create this machine that whenever we get a super chat, it throws like treats, the chickens or something. Um, so it'll like <laughs> it'll it'll like rotate and the treats will come down and so people who are watching also, can be you like can feed the give chickens. the money to the chickens and have the richest chickens in the world yeah. and we're gonna they have these three D printed idea. arms you put around the chicken's neck and then it gives the chickens little arms and they run around and they, so they're cute. like this when they run <laughs> so we'll do that too all right everybody you can follow the show at Timcast IRL you can follow me at Timcast do uh, the boys want to shout anything out. Yeah, the main thing is uh, check out my special that just came out a day ago on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash Ryan Long Comedy. White Immigrant is the special just came out. Yeah, and uh, follow me at Danny Jokes everywhere. And we have the boys cast. And then uh, every Tuesday night live at 930, I have a call-in show, Low Value Mail. Where is the call-in? On YouTube. You low Value Mail? Yeah, mail as in M-A-I-L. Oh. oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm Ian Crossland.net. Check me out there, and much love to all you yokels in the Chicken City live stream, yeah. enjoying the uh, the evening. Was Thank that? you guys all for tuning in to Human City this evening. I do really recommend checking out <laughs> Chicken City. I'm really excited for the night vision cameras. I love listening to it. You can hear trains go by. You can hear the beautiful birds we have around here. It's a lot of fun. It is actually a really neat experience to watch and enjoy. You guys may follow me on Twitter and Minds.com at Sarah Patch Lids. And stay tuned for the next Tim season. Blink. People are already, I just checked before we switched over and people are already tweeting at Blink Fitness. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, nice. nice. <laughs> I want to I give a shout out to the next season of Chicken City. We have 56 babies about to hatch and Ooh. we have two babies, Set and Ra. You see, Set is a, a black chicken who was born at night and is a boy and Ra is a gold chicken oh, who is a girl and born in the morning chicken. and they're the only two from the batch that made it. So I've just... I just assume they're the embodiment of night and day. Yeah. And they're going to team up to defeat APAP. So of course, yeah. check out that. It's going to be amazing. They're going to have swords and whatever. But uh, we'll see you all over at TimCast.com. Thanks for hanging out. And don't forget, check out Chicken City right now as a birthday present. Become a member at TimCast and subscribe. And we'll see you all in the member segment. Bye.